What's going on, everybody? Alright, looks like we lost Frigid just as I went live. bad man we lost frigid guys so coming up. Here we have it. We are playing some Shmele on the CRT. Let's go. Just play some randoms. Play some randoms real quick. I have to move this here. Ready? Go! Ah, uh, where are my games? to cue me we lost another one Thank <laughs> you. 
In the queue, man. I don't think he even rest. Close this out. We remove one of the players that are not really playing. Another one that we lost. How are you guys doing today? We are back. We are back on track. I have to remove this, otherwise it doesn't show. Anyways, we are gonna start right now. So, I'm gonna get the Let's start the bracket, guys. And I'm gonna call out a couple of matches. So free speed versus Wibbly Wall. Bubbles. <laughs> Refresh this page once again to make sure it's correct. It looks to be bubbles versus Nen. G regulate versus chocolate loving the big buffalo versus Eli. Also have Simmons tonight versus Justin. Man, I don't know who Justin Thunder Ligger is. We have a someone broadcasting to us so we're gonna get that going for us and i'll leave it right there so you guys can see yo otis what's up we'll check out this new impressive insanely large insanely heavy crt that i have here that has dvi connections connected to my old school video card that outputs analog signals and it can do uh, a 1080 resolution, uh, even though it's interlaced, but it doesn't matter. So this is lagless, okay? Lagless, 16 by nine. Who have carry? Yeah, no, that guy is my my homie Spencer, dude. He's he's ultra huge. He's absolutely jacked, and I'm very happy to have him as a friend. He has helped me so much, and I feel like I own him so much. Can I find the broadcast code uh, on Discord? There's the melee broadcast page. I'll, I'll paste it here for you, but we have a page. Yep. No worries. No worries. Are you gonna play your first match? Let me keep calling the next matches. So my Elstrom versus Alex Smiley Face. Then we also have Travioli versus Dishwasher. All right. 
then concussed who's not on discord versus fosh and we have tap versus cyan taku we're also on discord let's go we have freezes versus yobo light all right these guys are going in this is a peach versus puff i wonder who it is i just joined a match but i don't know who they are oh it's free speed and movie wall no it isn't someone is playing but it's not really not really uh I don't know. Man, it looks so good. It looks like a monitor, but it's actually a CRT. It's insane how how good this the image on this. It looks really, really good, not gonna lie. And I I can still optimize it. I think there's a little bit of burning as well. I need some cleaning. Anyways, it looks uh, really nice. Let's focus on the tournament for a little bit. I don't know who this person is that is broadcasting to us because the name, the tag is just high. So they might be another, another match to be honest. So we're going to broadcast someone that we know. How about free speed versus Wibbly wall? These are both uh, more beginner level players. We're going to try to have that. Try to uh, keep those guys excited about the tournaments oh there you go free speed versus wibbly wall so free speed is a falco there you go god damn it so now we have the players here let me grab it Free speed is the Falco. So this is free speed versus Weebly Wall. Who gets an F smash? And here we are, homies. Tipper and Wibbly Wall. Wolves getting game one. Stock situation the F smash connects by free speed. Oh, and he also gets the spike. Good stuff here by free speed. Getting himself close to a good result here. How did I call the matches that are possible? Ruffle versus Eli. We have Maelstrom. Did I call it the wrong place? Oh, I did. I'm dumb. Presumable light, and we got a call out Eggy versus Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth Egg, what a matchup! <laughs> what a matchup, Eggy versus Smash Mouth Egg. Whatever that is, uh, guys, another amazing week, of course. We are out here bringing the melee action once again. And this uh, working the setup here so we can have everything looking nice. 
and I just thought that I'll yeah. all right here they go I pretty much disabled the preview here I'll just watch it <laughs> to the side here move the wall to game one Okay, takes the stock. Looked a bit a bit weird, but managed to get the job done. Okay, good air dodge. Get back to the stage. Ooh. It's going in too early, and the those get up attacks are actually connecting. Down tilt finishes the deal. Oh no, free speed. Thought he has a jump. He didn't. It took too long for him to notice. Oh no, we had a bunch of DQs. Oh, it is what it is. Travioli DQ, that's uh, gonna be a weird bracket. He decides to show up on the lower side. It is what it is, guys. We follow the rules here. Alright, let good ledge walk by Weebly Wall here, and the stage working a little bit better. Yeah, hi Simmons. Uh, very sad, dude. The Trav DQ'd. You can still play lower bracket if he shows up. And he might have a lot of a lot of time to do that, but if that doesn't happen. It is what it is. Time to style, I guess. Well, you have more competition, by the way. We have Mac tonight. Have Trail. We have who else? Kubi is also playing. So you should be good competition-wise. Thanks for showing up on stream again, by the way. Appreciate it. I feel like I haven't been doing the, the greatest job. Uh, Alright, and Wibbly Wall ties up the set. Tribe is gonna have to go. I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure Trav can do it. I think he, he has... Uh, He needs the points, that's the reality of it. All right, game three. be bringing a good match uh, next the next one guys should be freezes versus weege yeah, mocha chino is actually broadcasting as well Freezes versus Ouija. Should be good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, it still connects. Yo, Freezes, what's up? We going after this. The moment I see the last stock, I can get started. It's fine if I... That by the time I load it in, it's going to be good. How's it going? Check this new CRT that I have here. It is a, a model that has DVI inputs, and it runs at 1080, 1080 resolution. And it's supp supposedly legless. I mean, I have to completely test it out. There's an option that you can activate in the service menu that makes it zero lag. So it's perfect for net play. And it looks really good. It looks like a monitor, not gonna lie. But it's actually gonna be more zero lag than my monitor. Because my monitor is not really zero lag, because no monitor kinda is. But this is supposed to be. And this is also 34 inches. So it is the Sony XBR910. But it's it weighs 200 pounds, dude. It was quite the adventure uh, getting it, but I'm happy I did. Uh, uh, okay, that's it. Let's uh, hop into the next match. By the way, sorry I wasn't paying too much attention, but it looks like our friend Ouija. And our friend freezes. Oh, we just broadcasting. Okay, so we're going in. You guys are good to go. Good to go. We're gonna have a hype match right now. 200 pounds, dude. It was quite heavy. And look at what was on top of it. The flat crocodile is right there. All right, let's get another hype match on stream right now. It's going to be Freezes versus Ouija. So Falcon versus Fox. All right, we going in. There we go. There we have it. So this is Ouija versus Oh, sorry, this is Ouija. Versus Freezes. 304. Ooh, and then he connects. There we have it. And you guys can see how much my 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 camera how fast it is based on the image you're seeing on screen and and what you're saying there is actually pretty fast. Like my camera, my reactions are as close as to what you see on stream as possible. Anyways, this is week number five, guys, of our circuit. And it's gonna be close. Ooh, that wasn't a kill yet. Oh, but this certainly is, all right. Freezes with the sniping mentality here. Putting himself in a great position. But gets back here and let's see the angle saves. No. Close, close. Is he's fighting though. We falling. Ooh, great air dodge by Ouija there. Could have been very dangerous. So Ouija was playing Mac before uh before Oh, he gets his stock. All right. Let's call a couple of players to check in. Last stock for freezes here, Ouija. It's definitely not an easy opponent to face. Oh, the patience from freezes. Ledge hogs, but the F smash connects and Freezes has a chance to take game one here if they're being behind. CC and Freezes is gonna need a lot. Okay, Ouija takes it. 
that was that was fast that was quick great stuff here by uh by Ouija. but Frieza is definitely showing that he's still down to play going all the way to the very last stock let's see what awaits us in game two I'm also going to try to broadcast most of the quarterfinals, guys. So if you're if you're supposed to play quarterfinals, uh, please wait and broadcast your matches. All right, we're going in. Freeze is deciding to counterpick to stay in here, potentially getting those up smashes for the early kills. The Fox specialty. Ooh, great sequence. It's still going on. It's the draw shine and the patience here. <laughs> Just waiting. Okay, freezes. Ooh, he went a little bit too in. That wave dash was too shallow. He ended up moving too much. Oh, he's got the weak knee. Okay, okay. I dig that freezes, alright. Uh, but the back air connects right there. Right after it. Maybe I'll, I'll move my camera a little bit so you guys can see more of the TV. Alright, charges a little bit, but the DI is enough. I think he could have charged it even a little bit more, but he had to have the, the full read. It should be a complete read. Oh, that kills, okay. That freezes. That's a good stock lead here. Dangerous, no, misses the grab. No attack, but no punish. Mm, that is not good. And Freezes goes down, so Ouija has a chance here to take this to the bank. Freezes not doing so well this season, needs more points. Or he's gonna hide, have to battle. What happened? A little bit more. All right, Freezes ties up the set. Let's see if we're gonna have uh, who's gonna take it on game three. Let us see what's gonna happen, guys. But we are on week number five of our circuit here. And we'll see who's gonna take it. So Freeze is bouncing back and potentially making the difference here. By my mixtape, taking a game from Kubi would be quite interesting if he could do the trick.
And then we're gonna have a couple of quarterfinals matches since we have to wait a lot. Let's see if our friend uh, Simmons is broadcasting. Doesn't look like Simmons is broadcasting yet. All right, so last game here on this best of three. Top uh, 12 qualifier. Okay, Shine Spike by Freezes and he has a 10 second stock here. Great stuff. Putting himself in a great position here, potentially taking this set. But don't count Ouija out. Ooh, I like that hitbox. Ooh, the Sire Spot up Smash connects. And he gets another shine. Grabs a ledge. Perfect execution by Freezes here right now. God damn. Great stuff. by Ouija. Oh, and so does the knee in Ouija. I told you guys to not count him out. And the double back air. It's enough. Freezes. Not really allowing Ouija to go much far. It stops the blading right away. So making the situation difficult for Ouija here. He's going to have to have a great great sequence here if he wants to go in okay reaches the flat crocodile there but gets me the same way oh and the shine spike to end things and freezes takes it two one good stuff so we already had the next match queued up, queued up, guys. It should be Simmons versus Concussed. So Concussed is an absolute mystery in the server. Finally, finally, I can add. Yep, good luck, have fun, guys. Next match is already queued up. It's going to be Concussed versus uh, Simmons. And Simmons is the Falcon, Concussed the Puff. Should be a lot of fun. Could be turned it around versus by my mixtape. So good stuff in there. Meanwhile, we have a couple of accidents here because Travioli did not check in for his first match. So he's going to have to go through the loser's run. All right. And we're going in with the first game. I guess they're going to do some uh, hand warmers. So this is Simmons. And this is lovely concussed who's been around for a while but i finally found which of uh which was his tag in the server oh okay, so look at those scan lines going through my screen there all right we're ready to go let's get this party started remember guys concussed versus this is a top eight qualifier the first winner's quarters off the night, let's actually change the rounds here. And we'll see how it goes. 
Meanwhile, let me... Gets the knee. Tries to go for the double, but Puff is a little bit too floaty here. and Simmons just showing the difference in uh, seating power Ooh, has to recover but no punish from Concuss he had an opportunity there he's trying to go for those back airs but the air from Simmons connects first Is that enough? Oh, Simmons goes for the stomp, but good stuff for, from Concuss here, keeping it going and continuing the match. Could potentially have brought to the last stock there, but Simmons kind of like kept things under control. Two coming up. Oh, Concuss is having these opportunities, but it's not being able to cash in. He needs to potentially get those reads prior. Oh, but he finally does. That's a good sequence. And this time, Simmons is the one that cannot uh, get it to the bank. Finds a knee after the down throw. And trying to work with those up there is certainly a great weapon that Falcon has. Oh my god, that was an absurd grab. can bring this.
All right, but in Concuss here, actually bring this to the last to Simmons' last stock. Much different uh, result in the first game. Now it's Simmons that is on the back foot and potentially will have to work extra hard here to turn the situation around. That could almost have been a, a rest setup. But that's gonna have to wait for game three because concussed. Definitely getting that rest going. Ooh, let's uh, let's keep the action going, guys. is broadcasting all right game three guys this is it top eight qualifier here between concussed and simmons and get started with a high level of engagement here he gets the nipple spike into a knee and another one. Is that enough? No, good. Yeah, but concussed. But he's yet to touch Simmons. Finds it back here. And that is the setup. Can you guys answer me in the chat? Like, does Falcon get grabs if Buff is uh, just crouched? I'm not sure. Something that I don't have the Falcon experience. Oh, the knee up air knee. It looks like because Concuss won that game too, Simmons is just... Oh no, there you go. That answered my question. Concuss invokes Simmons' uh, Wrath. Oh, that is a miss. And the Falcon Punch connects. Good stuff here by Simmons. Bringing up the hype after the missed rest. Oh, what? Oh, go for that. Go for the F smash. And we're dropping frames, so I guess I'm gonna follow from this. What? What is Simmons doing? There's a little bit more. The back air connects. Oh no, concussed it just goes down. Very sad. Alright, uh let me let me get the next match ready guys. Should be another top eight qualifier is going to be Aggie versus what's up soon as that? Oh what's going on? Sugjan underscore. Wait, who is that? Is that concussed? Is that it? Alright, so it's going to be Aggie. I believe Aggie is the Peach. Aggie. Versus Scooby. Another great match here, another top 8 qualifier. And they are about to get started, as you guys can see here. <laughs> I really like the CV, dude. The CV is hype. It adds a lot to the setup. I might have to move my camera a bit. To be honest, I'm going to throw the TV all the way to that corner of the room and then bring my TV a little bit closer. And I want the TV to kind of like be around here. We might make it, I don't know, I need to make it like 45 degrees and then get it in as close as possible because I might have access to behind the TV there. So it's going to be hype. Anyways, let's, uh, let's wait for them to do the Smash.GG picks and bands.
It's going to be Kubi versus Aggie. Great matchup. Meanwhile, Freezes is going to have to wait even longer. It's good that we can have all the quarterfinals on stream, guys, because then it, it allows us to have more time for the loser side to catch up. Yo, Brio's in the chat. What's up, Brio? All right, looks like they're getting in. Kobe says he's ready. Yep. All right. Picks and bends have been done. First game is going to be Battlefield. Let's get it going, guys. First game of the second top eight qualifier of the night. Week number five. Uh, hello? There you go. I don't know what OBS acting again. Let's see, this is going to be a very technical, very technical matchup here. Traviola going to lose his run. Alright, and Kubi takes the first stock, but Aggie is gonna answer right back. Yep. And it's uh, as even game as it gets, guys. Grab connects Aggie. We'll find the punish. This is an insanely like a high level match right now, and it's only quarterfinals. So Aggie is definitely a, a, an insanely player as well. Ruby has been grinding a lot though, so I really don't know who's gonna take this. We're gonna have to watch and see. Those fairs here could be likes to do that. Lands with a fair, shield drops another one. It's just a double take. Oh, the down smash, double hit. And Aggie throws the tournament to the other side to try and, and grab the ledge as fast as possible. And the nerd connects. Yeah, that's enough. And again, look at this guy. He's just trading stocks. And they're back at 0%. Just like that. It's quite interesting how this is getting to go. Right, grab by Aggie. Tries to follow up the dash attack. Still getting punished. Cannot not shield versus uh, Kubi there at the ledge. So good for Sheiks to just approach close to the ledge with the fair. Look at that, see the double fair? Every time he's at the at the platform, he just goes for those. The double tap. But Aggie is the first one to strike this last stock here. Let's see if Kubi can get this one without getting hit. No, he breaks the breaks the sequence. Can I get the stock? No, the great our dodge by Aggie here was right on time. Fair connects. Gonna have to go for the hard recovery. No, makes it back. We'll be released too soon. Back there connects. And another big fair. That is it, guys. Last stock situation here in this game one. I told you it's going to be a hype match. Oh, seeing a lot of needle usage by Kubi here. And all right, here that's the turnip. That is. A cool move, cool, cool player move. But an air connects again. Goes for the fair. And connects the down smash a little bit. A little bit more damage, but gets hit in the air again. Needs to make it back. Oh, Aki, just a throw. 
that is not going to be enough. And Eggy gets game one, claims it. Game two coming up, guys. It's going to be Yoshi's Kubi here. Did a great job in game one. They, they were both super close, but he kind of lost control at the very bitter end there. And it looks like he's coming hot out of the gate here with a good 59% combo to get things started. And the pressure's still going, and yeah, that finishes the deal. here by Kubi. Just putting the shoot pressure. Oh, and a weird air dodge here by Aggie. I'm not sure what he was going for. He was just trying to latch dash potentially. But it ends up as Dean. Gonna cost him. Woo. It's gonna cost him a lot. Can he do something here? Smash, all right. That's the job done. Here and he's in a great position to force this game for himself. Gets the back here in his last sock situation. Wow, he definitely woke up. Definitely, definitely woke up. Can Aggie fight back here? Oh, he almost went a bit too low. Wow, that was close. Kubi pretty much avenges himself after not managing to claim game one. He definitely came in hot for game two. And FD is I guess counter pick, so we'll see how he does here. stock here and it's still working on a second will be with the turning tech wild stuff indeed sorry I didn't pick up there I'm also checking this card 
So Simmons, top eight qualified already. Against Scooby. Oh, I see. So you want to challenge him. Why am I dropping frames? What's going on my video card? I will remove the preview and we should be good. I'll just cast a match from my CRT here. Scooby finds the fair and this is not going to be a first stock, or will we? <laughs> I missed that grab. And it's going to get fared. Great position still, though. It just goes down, and uh, it looks like Kubi is just gonna take that advantage. Yeah, and that's the stock, that's the game, guys. Good stuff here by Kubi finalizing the ordeal and yeah it's gonna take us so we're gonna move to the next match right away congratulations to kubi i'm sure we're gonna see more of mr eggy on the lower side of the bracket we need a broadcast from these guys from mac and regulate let's see who's doing it and if they are going to do it at all We need a broadcast, guys, so we can have these amazing quarterfinals going on. Let's see how the lower side of the bracket is going on. Otis versus Bubbles. Ooh, 1-1. One, one. Travioli going on a, an absolute tear here because he got DQ'd. And by my mixtape, we'll have to try his best versus such a, a great opponent. We also have Hax Money Hulk Hogan who asked for a higher seating and did not perform as expected, but promised to make the run back. So already made in top 16 with one more, one more, if, if Hex Money Hulk Hogan gets one more win, then it's kind of around the seating expected. So it's fine. Uh, so I'm waiting for Mac and Jew regularly to get me a broadcast. They should, I should be seeing it soon. Uh, nothing yet. Let's keep refreshing here. But guys, how's it going? Remember, this is week number five of our circuit. I have all these uh, trophies here ready to go. We are getting close to that lovely, lovely June 12th where our finals are going to be held. And we're going to celebrate my 30th birthday on stream together with the finals. It's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. Uh, with that said, where is the broadcast? Okay, Agward. Is that what it should be? It probably isn't. That doesn't make any sense. Please don't play. Oh, I hope they're not playing yet. Come on, this should be such a good match. Double Falcon. Guys, the stream is not ready and these guys are playing. Come on. Why is my life like this? Everybody's right here on stream. Shout out to everybody that is coming in to watch us. And I'm trying to get the next match ready, but I think these guys just went in. <sighs> 
Not gonna lie, guys. Organizing tournaments can be quite frustrating. There's a lot that goes into the background of doing this, and I try to do my best, like making the best content possible. And you ask players to just, you know, just do the broadcast. It's not much, and can't even get that. I can see you in my stream, uh, Mac. I hope you didn't start the game. Oh, whew. Well, I still don't see it. <laughs> I still don't see any any games. I, I mean, I'm assuming. Thanks, Mac. I appreciate it. All right, it looks like we're going to get the match, so it should be good. got it we got it ladies and gentlemen we got him all right and the match should live and learn baby <laughs> all right guys uh get ready it's going to be regulate versus um uh, mac so mac number one of the night it's gonna bring the hype here. If, of course. Okay, so I know he plays the bubble gun, so this is Mac. Number one seed of the night versus G Regulate. Classic and also a homie who's always around every single week to join us here for the fun, for the smashing action. Trying to go for the Raptor boost. That's quite. By the statement. All right, but the stomp knee, the classic, the bread and butter, the most bread. And, is there anything more bread and butter in this game than stomp knee? Should have a, a tier list of bread and butter combos. I'll throw rest. Ooh, that's gonna cost a lot, but for Mac, stomp knee is definitely. But it's it's not about the quality of it. It's about how. How bread and buttery is it? Is there anything more bread and butter than stomp me? Anything more meat and potatoes? Oh, of course, you cannot expect a player of this level to not tack that. And regularly just goes slowly down. Regulate gets another sock, good stuff. Slot situation here, uh, and regular has a good chance. I was not expecting him, but maybe catching Mac a little bit off guard. Mac was streaming, I mean, still is streaming and playing versus Ouija the uh, couple, couple of minutes ago, well, hours ago, I guess. So he's definitely uh, warmed up for the matchup. But regulate, keeping it very close. Dash dance, don't stop. And the Nair action. Falcon Brain at work. Nair all the time. Starts to call out the, the tech in place. And even at up air, oh, up tilt, sorry, I like that, but can't expect it to work. 
throws. Danger. Mm. Okay, makes it back. And they're still going. Ah, uh, another important grab. Mac doesn't get the knee. But he was facing the other way, Regulate, and he's gonna get need. And the instant response from Regulate. You can see that he, he he saw the moment he got grabbed, he's like, oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna need. That is actually the, the fastest uh, LRA start of the Wild West. Good stuff here. And uh, yeah, good stuff. We're gonna go right after this match. We have Trail versus Freezes. Two should come up real soon. Let's see where the counter pick from uh, Mac or oh, from Regulate is going to be. Looks like it's going to be Battlefield, guys. So stay tuned for that. We are clocking in the first hour and I need to start the amateur bracket, which I did not get ready right away. So let me, uh, oh, they're restarting it, looks like. Let me start the amateur bracket real quick. One minute late, that's fine. Oh, the second one doesn't connect. in the match sorry guys I was uh, doing the TO stuff on the amateur bracket which I think a couple of these players should not be playing there yeah by my mixtape should definitely not have been there the Mochaccino was one two going on in this battlefield here, I just noticed that G Regular is just winning. And he even goes for a pretty much a it Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, then he connects. And... Wow, really regulate? Are you really gonna throw a stock away like that? No, Mac doesn't punish. Oh my god. Oh, he gets this. Do you guys hear that? You guys hear the sound of the nipple spike? G regulate is actually. But he's actually still winning, though. He's memeing, but he's winning. Or will Mac turn it around? Mac was lying to me, dude. And why is why am I dropping frames? This is just melee, right? Anyways, do you see this freezes? Do you see the CRT here? Why is he doing this? He's given the opportunity. <laughs> Okay, we gotta cheer for Mac now. Mac needs to win. Right now, Mac. Turn it around. Yes, with a nipple spike to start. Gets grabbed. Oh, hit the knee. Doesn't connect. He doesn't get the grab because the jab is super fast. Oh, where's the Wizzy DI? He didn't get the Wizzy DI. And that's it. Wow. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> I He asked me to be number one seed, and I gave in. And it looks like that did not pan out correctly. So uh, now we're going to Trail versus Freezes. So Freezes, I assume you are broadcasting. You are not. Where is the broadcast? Trail also said that he was going to broadcast. Just, just leave the broadcast running, guys. It's how it goes. Yo, did somebody uh, host me? What? I don't see any notifications, so I don't know. But why do I have 15 people suddenly? Uh, guys, I have all the homies in the chat. Trail, Travioli, uh, Mac. Mac, what were you doing? Look at look at me in the eyes, Mac. What happened there? Kubi, Freezes, Fosh, all the all the homes. Everybody's around. I just started broadcasting. All right. So Trail is broadcasting to us. We're ready to go. Good to go. Last quarterfinals of the nights, guys, and we're gonna have our winner side top eight, top eight ready to go. While the the rest of the bracket catches up, it's going to be perfect alignment of the stars here. So let's keep the swag going. It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be trail versus freezes coming up right now. We are good to go. And to be the fox versus the ice climbers. Trail, not really bringing the Ganon uh, as much anymore. Always bringing the lovely ice climbers. Let's go. Where is the game, homies? Hits can sedan. Pace when Mac was Blue Falcon. Wait, what? No way. No way. That can't be true. Trail. No freaking way, dude. What? He was playing bubble gum. He was playing bubblegum. What? I guessed it all wrong. He was playing bubblegum falcon versus Ouija on stream, and I thought he was the bubblegum falcon instead of... Uh... Oh, this might be painful to see. Oh, nice avoidance by Freezes. He got frozen. By Carol Nana? Yeah, that's, that's a Nana away. And he just said, you know what, let's go. Next stock. He normally is, yeah. So why didn't he didn't do that? <laughs> God damn it. Well, so I guess it was correct. But good for uh, Mr. G Regulate for taking a game, of course, and keeping the, the entire set very close. Freezes. 
Reading their roll in gets the up smash. Fish is that this is going to in with the with the double jumps. Okay, Nana gets hit, but Popo gets the down smash right there. That shine almost connected as well. But good for freezes. Nana is out of the question, out of the picture for this stock here. Just needs to finish it off quickly. Let's stay up there. Goes for the second one. No. Trio avoids it. Oh, and a little bit of a a little bit of a shield poke there, but Freezes, connects the up smash, and here we go. Two stocks at these. Good stuff for Freezes here so far. Managing to keep it very, very close. Put a down smash. Makes it back. Look at the absolute instant response by Treo here. Oh, he teleports Nana. With the up B. Gets it back here. Another one? Doesn't even care about Nana. Wow, wave dash back into the F smash. Good stuff for, for Trio here. Managing to keep this, this Nana alive so much. Another grab, wow. It clanks with the F smash, are you kidding me? And Frizz just decides to go down guys stay tuned because we're going to top eight right after this it's going to be mac versus simmons first match of our top eight here winner semifinals coming in right after this current matchup and we know you guys know how we roll here with the scouts weekly smash melee pro series for non-stop matches when we're live and also remember this is week number five of our circuit so uh Hits can sedan. If you are a friend of uh, of Mac, you should definitely let him know that this. Uh, check our Twitter links on uh, below the stream. You're gonna find a quick video that I made or the YouTube channel right away. I made a, a quick video that goes over how the the circuit works. And one of the rules that we have in our circuit is that players need to play at, at least two events to be able to qualify to the finals, where they can potentially earn one of these lovely trophies here. However, for them to be able to do that, they need to play in at least two events. And this week was Max's first event, so let him know that he needs to play next week. Otherwise, he won't be able to play on the finals. And he also needs to qualify, right? Which I'm assuming he's gonna get like a top three today at least. And if he gets another top three next week, he has a great chance of making it. Although I think this week is very stacked and I didn't put all the points in for last week. So we'll see about that. Uh, with that said though, Freezes gets a little bit of help from the flat crocodile. Great angle. And trail mess it up that a little bit. Not enough. Right, but the back air certainly does does the deed and freezes. Finds another up smash and neutral. But gets the grab. The trail just goes for that up hit. Two stocks apiece now. Trail managed to even up the set. Shine is just so good versus this in this matchup. But as this is definitely have uh, ways on dealing with it. Oh, such such fast movement here by by freezes. Looks like Nana is out of the picture. Another back air connects. Another one, good stuff. Oh no, that wasn't enough. We have farm stink here in the chat. What's up? Check our lovely bracket that we had today. With lots of great players here from the East Coast.
Ooh, did I have Smash Connects? Oh, it's a good DI, okay. Let's see the recovery, goes for the perfect angle. And just finding the shines on Nana. Another grab. Yeah, he didn't match fast enough. I think... Freezes could potentially escape a bunch of these grabs, it's just it's not mashing. It's just not mashing enough. Okay, Trail makes it back but gets a grab. Is that the pain? Here comes the pain or not? He has to make his choices very well. But this looks like a very good position here. Oh, another grab by Trail. Can he make the run? The run back with Popo. With Sopo. Nope, back here connects and freezes. Tying up the set here, very important set. Freezes did not get any like substantial res results this season. So if he manages to get to top eight right now, uh, I believe it's a guaranteed fifth, fifth place, if I'm not mistaken. And Freezes definitely needs this if he wants to potentially get into the finals uh, without having to, you know, go through the Arcadian, which then it's it's the last chance, right? You never know. It's always good to qualify directly to the finals without requiring the Arcadian run. But with all that said, the Arcadian run is also uh, also has four spots for players to qualify. So if you get any, if you need any information on how our system, our circuit system works, please check the YouTube, check the Twitter. Links are below the stream, and you will find a quick three-minute video that I made explaining how it all works. And with that said, this is it. Game three on Dreamland. Top eight qualifier for tonight. On winner's side, it's going to be Freezes versus Trail. And Trail here finds the first grab, and here it comes the pain. Oh, no, Freezes manages to escape. You can see those up air sex kicks from Ice Climbers. Always such a pain. Right back here. Goes for the Firefox angle and gets it. Good stuff. Shine spikes Nana, and he's fighting. Percent is not too high, but he can definitely make a difference here. Good DI, no, not enough. Wispy still had a little bit of, of power there. A little bit of air. Pressure freezes needs this right now. I could have gone for a down smash, I think. Nice spot dodge, okay. Doesn't get grabbed. He needs to clean up the stock right now. Stop taking unnecessary damage here. Trail. Got the win last week. Wow, what a hitbox. But Trail is still surviving. Gets a good DI. Mm, freezes, you cannot miss that. Especially the dash attack. Instantly punished. And Trail is just getting so much mileage from the stock here. I remember that most of it was just Sopo, but now Freezes finally takes it. And he's already getting in those unhealthy margins here at 72, now 84. Let's see if he can get rid of Nana fast. This is so painful. Oh, he finally mashes out. This is the first match that he got this uh, on this best of three. It's the shine spike, but on the wrong side. And a good down holding there from Trail. Nana gets hit, but Sobo doesn't. Nana feels like a bodyguard because she's the one that gets hit while Sopo is behind, and then he. Sopo can just go there and get the grab. Oh, and here's the thing. Look at that. So much damage, and can he even make it back? Great angle. Should go for the, the shine up smash, but that doesn't hit. And now Trail is sitting here comfortably with two, a two stock lead. Takes down Anna. Needs to go for the perfect stock here. Trey was just avoiding those, like, and even the, the the little bit of DI from just a jab is already enough to not get hit by the up smash. Ah, the sequence by Trey is just shutting him off. Freeze is still fighting. Okay, 
edge cancels that. Looking interesting. And finds the back there. All right, Freezes. You need two stellar stocks right here. This is a game that allows players to do that. Will we see it? We won't. Uh, so congratulations to Treo making top eight right now. Good stuff. And we're going to move on from there. Oh, really? Uh, what a pain, dude. Now Max is asking to be DQ'd right when he was about to play. Who's the queuing? Uh, supposedly your opponent. I don't know if I can stream. Uh, just don't. Leave it to Simmons. Okay, your opponent was, but now he's playing. I managed to convince him. I gave him the push. <sighs> okay. Managed to convince him to keep going. Simmons, I hope you're broadcasting. I don't see it. Where is your broadcast, Simmons? Broadcast, please, 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 please. And we're going to get our first. Oh, Simmons is broadcasting. Let's go. We're in, homies. We are in. There we go. It's going to be Simmons versus Mac. Should be an absolute bloodbath here. Another Falcon versus Falcon. Also, I need to know the colors. Uh, which colors? Or by the way, <laughs> let me know. This will help. We need to know which which, which ports or which colors these guys are picking. Since it's going to be a Falcon Ditto, another Falcon Ditto on stream. They're always hype. They're always fast. And that's it, guys. Uh, so, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. Hits can sedan. Why would Mr. Mac want to DQ, dude? Come on. Don't do that to me. After coming in so far. Tried so hard and got so far. All right. Just let me know, Simmons, and you guys can get started right away. Going to be their first match of the top eight for tonight, which, by the way, I can uh, I can show it to you guys. This is the top eight so far. Wait, we already have the other the other sets going on. Nice. Just a gem, I suppose. He got that scout's honor to let him get dibs on pink. <laughs> Come on, guys! Our top eight is forming here. That's the power of uh, allowing both, allowing all quarterfinals to be streamed, because then the loser side can catch up. So now we're going to watch Mac versus Simmons first, and then Trail versus Kubi next. Then I believe we go winners finals right away, and then we drop back to loser semis and whatnot. Well, they both got pink. Come on. Going black. <laughs> okay, Simmons is pink, and Max saying he's black, but he's not. He didn't pick black yet, so we're gonna have to guess that. <laughs> we're gonna guess to get get to get. Oh, we're gonna have to guess that right now. All right. So winner semis, guys. Uh, so black is Mac. So Mac likes to change colors, and Simmons going with the bubble gun. Here it is, guys. Remember. This guy's already guaranteeing himself a top fifth finishing, which awards you 180 points in our lovely system here. And Simmons strike first, getting the knee here on Dreamland. Mac 
trying to reach out with those uh, bears. The missed gentleman actually connects as well. And when he doesn't miss the gentleman is when he gets grabbed. Is there such a thing for Falcon of like purposely uh, messing up the gentleman? Is there any times that, that can actually help? Or wouldn't it be more helpful to just... Uh, ooh, that was reverse. I guess... Oh, no attack by Simmons and Mac turns it around. After being behind the first stock here. Is there such a thing of ending the gentleman early? Look at that. Great shielding there. Right on the last minute. Oh, he goes for the weak knee. And Simmons ties up the set. Guys, this is some high-level Captain Falcon action right here. That's what we like to see. Ooh, that second one was so good. I missed that one. It's still going. And it was a reverse. Oh, it's a reverse one. And Simmons. This, are, this guy's like, Simmons took the first stock. Then Mac two stocks. Now Simmons two stocks in a row. If Mac takes two stocks in a row now, that's where things get hot. And that's it. Last stock situation. Falcon Ditto. Pretty even. That's what we like to see. Simmons got the grab. Yeah, another one. Goes in. Ooh, the quick mash by Mac. But the jab was too slow. He couldn't shoot in time and got Raptor boosted. Gladly, nothing followed. Simmons gets another grab. Goes for the aft tilt. Good option. And a good sweet spot there. Sure. Ooh. Oh, the punish was instant. Wait, the black one, black one. So that was Mac, right? I believe I got that right. Mac, Mac one. So, woo, that was that was intense, guys. That was intense. After that, we have Trail versus Kubi. By the way, Kubi on stream. Hello, Kubi uh, stream. You guys are probably watching me right now. We're going in right now with Mac versus Simmons. Who do you want to face if you win versus Trey Okubi? I'm sure he's, you're, he's focusing on, on Trey right now, honestly. Probably focusing on Trey because he lost last week. And because of J Salt's dequeuing, he got a lot, lots of points. Our top three is mostly decided right now, I believe. Based on results of tonight and the past results. I'm fairly sure top three of this season is going to be between Trail, Kubi, and J-Salt. So we already have two Sheiks and one IC slash Ganon player that we can expect to watch on June 12, guys. So stay tuned for that. Grab by Mac. He was the one that got the first stock here. But now Simmons. Trying to get the knee, but no. The gentleman connects. Another grab. He waits for the attack option. Oh, that Falcon knee. Was that a missed input? Yeah. Now the back here connects. He can still make it back. Oh, it's too difficult. That was almost a good DI, but he needed some wheezy levels of DI there. He gets it. All right, Simmons. Striking back. Remember, these guys are number four and number one. So we definitely got the correct seating here for the the top side of our top eight. We have one versus four and two versus three. Mac should be the one winning. We'll see how that happens. I'm really, I'm really uh, wondering about... Kubi versus Trail, though. It's going to be another great match. That said, though, Simmons tried to go straight and wait for the getup, but Mac just doesn't, doesn't give it. But now, look. Simmons answers back. Can he get a quick stock here and bring it to the last one? Oh, the knee connects. Another oh knee. Okay, Simmons. Oh, that was a good 
Oh, no! He dropped it. Oh, and Mac finds another one. Oh, Mac. Extremely on point there. Simon's up 1-0. Wait, so I got them wrong? Ugh. Of course I got them wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I can change it. I can change real quick. Well, good good stuff. That we, At least we get two more games guaranteed. So that's uh, great news. Wait, what? Oh, you're going to restart and thought you were it's the, the wrong Falcon there? <laughs> what is going on here, dude? Was that the wrong stage? No, it's supposed to be FD. Okay, they're starting right now. I mean, Max said he was the black one, but I guess I got the one wrong uh, who won game one. It's, uh, might be, might be. Okay, Mac reads the thing Falcons, am I right? True, dude, true. They're just more, they're kind of like, they have the same mentality. You know what would be interesting to, to, to see? It's like a, a Venn diagram of similar interests between players that play the same character and the same colors. It's like, I play Green Marth, and I think to myself, like, what do I have in common with the other players that play Green Marth? And is that something that, you know, is really supposed to be that... <laughs> Relatable, who knows? What we know here is that Mac and Simon are tied up in this in the game count and now in the stock count as well. Oh, gets the jab. Jab reset. Oh, and he already waits for the ta the attack roll. Mac is actually responding so fast right now. Oh, it's great knee. ahead unless this knee in the back here yeah. I really don't get why my encoding is overloaded oh he got it in the drift back Smack for real. I mean, he's still being able to make it back. Good stuff. Oh, the up air connects. Okay. Simmons goes down. It's his last stock here in game three. Can't throw stocks away like that. Oh, the item attack. That could have been so good for for Simmons there. He needed he needs it actually. Gentlemen, the grab miss. Back here, Storm. Don't mess it up. Gets the knee. Oh, and that works again for Mac. He just drifts back. Up here. Oh, this time he waits, and Simmons has a chance here. For the back air from Mac Connect, and he's just gonna ledge hog. Okay, okay. Simmons keeping it close, but as you guys can see, it's been uh, an absolute bloodbath. These guys are just going in non stop. Great stuff here by both players. Uh, and we almost have the full top eight ready. We're just waiting for either Freezes or Hax Money Hulk Hogan. So the rest of our bracket should be going in close. All right. Game four, guys. One. 
the field of battle. Mac getting the two stomps. It goes too low. Gets the meteor cancel. Oh no, it's Simmons, you need to get those punishes, my friend. Versus a player like Mac. You need to go all out. And not. Yeah, let's see what happens. Cannot afford to drop uh, such good. Yeah, like that. You gotta take those. Don't miss those opportunities. I wanna say game five between these Falcons, guys. It's such a good matchup here. But Mac getting the double stuff again. He could have jab reset that one, but he dropped it. What? I don't know how Simmons made it back to the stage. Oh no, the miss tax are Mac are just he's just taking advantage of that. Taking it all the way to the bank. The up tilt. Great back here after the and that should be looking like it unless Simmons can do it the absolutely magical stocks in a row. He was keeping it close. Okay, okay. Simmons still living. 46. He does not get these tags and look at the punishes. He almost could have gotten it. Mech almost got oh the dash attack. <laughs> okay. That that's it. Shout outs to Mac for trying to go for the, the Falcon Punch. There. Good stuff by both players, of course. Uh, amazing set between them. That's what we like to see. And it looks like Trail and uh, Kubi should be ready to go. I think Trail might be playing in another bracket real quick. Yeah, Mac, Mac was good, dude. Mac was actually, actually good. Wait, Rubsters. Aren't you Mac? Wait, what? Am I, am I wrong? Guys, so we're watching Trail on the, the other screen there while we wait for for him to come back. Rich Homie Smash, what's going on, my friend? We are about to go to our next top eight match. So stay tuned. Let me show you guys how the top eight is looking. So Mac takes it 3-1 versus Simmons. And is going to winner's finals here. Already guaranteeing himself at least a third place finisher. Which is 300 points. Lots of points into our circuit system here. Looking very, very good. Right now, we're looking to go Trail versus Kubi. Trail is probably playing in another tournament right now. As you guys can see here. He's playing versus Sheik, and he's uh, had a stock, but doesn't have Nana anymore. So we're going to wait for that, and hopefully... Oh, he doesn't make it back to the stage. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the show here. Remember, this is the Scouts Weekly Smash. Welcome back to another Monday event here. No, I'm Aggie, man. Oh, how can you be Aggie? Damn, you are Aggie. But were you the one that asked me to, to DQ? Dude, I'm crazy. I told you you were top 8, but you weren't top 8. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> well, you made it to top 8, though. So I'm glad I, you know, I incentivized you to keep going, keep pushing your dreams, you know. You gotta battle it out. I mean, are you in the in the in the system? <gasps> no, you are not. I thought you were saying that I was guaranteed. Dude, I, I am so sorry. I thought you were Mac. I am really dumb. I don't know why I assumed that. It makes no sense. <laughs> it literally makes no sense. <laughs> uh So yeah, it doesn't but here's the thing, Aggie. Look at these trophies. Okay. Look at these beauties. It goes all the way to fourth place, by the way. 
Would you like to get one of these? Would you like to get one of these? Yes. Yeah, so if you want one of these, you have to play next week because you don't have any results in... Uh, oh, wow. And Freezes already calling his uh, opponent out to play. Look at that. Yo, Mac. You too, Mac. Check this out since you haven't seen it. Do you want this trophy? If you and Aggie wants this trophy, you guys have to play next week, okay? Because you need two results in the brackets to qualify for the top eight. Oh, the, the finals. And you need to be free on Saturday, uh, June 12th. By the way, there's trophies. Yes, not for tonight. Not for tonight. For the circuit. Check our Twitter. Check the video on YouTube. Which is just three minutes. Okay, I know you have the time. You have the time right now. Because you're going to have to watch this best of five, okay? So go check the announcement video for season five. I explained very well how the system works. No trophies for tonight. No, it's for the season. For the season, okay? Do you think you can get something like this for just playing one weekly? No, you have to work hard. You have to work hard. You have to play next week. You guys have to play at least next week. These trophies, and they are shipped to you for free. Because here's the thing, Mr. Mac and Mr. Uh, Eggy. Remember those times you guys won, like, a weekly in your locals or maybe you got in a good placement in other monthlies or whatever and you got some money you got like 20 bucks here 50 bucks there right and you thought to yourself yo that's cool i made some money where is that money L look at me in the eyes where is that money that you made from weeklies and the time you play it's nowhere to be seen and look at me i suck at this game and i can make money anyone in the world can make money but these trophies right here there's only one way to get one of these, and it's to do well. And you can ask the other, uh, plus the title, right? It's not just that. Because if you win one of these trophies, you will be crowned in our community as a gladiator scout. To be remembered forever. Turn to lay down your stream. Where are you streaming from? What do you mean? Sorry. Uh... I'm streaming from Ontario. I am Brazilian, as you guys, as you can see here, but I live here. See? What do you mean to turn the, the stream delay? I don't get it. Ruby sex. Oh, and here comes the trail pain. Bam. Are you still there, Mac? I don't know what you mean, my friend. Yo, Pan is in this stream. What's going on, Pan? It's been a while, my friend. All right, the the first part of the bracket is ready, so we only need to care about the top eight right now. So stay tuned. Kubi is fighting here, fighting hard. Estreo is quite the opponent. To work on that nana oh but here comes the grab here comes the pain patience from trail goes for the grab after a little bit there's a setting called low latency for streaming that cuts down the delay oh i already have it is it too laggy i don't know i can i can open my own stream here and see i can count i'm gonna count how many seconds creator dashboard let me remove the. I'm gonna mute it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, it was like seven or eight seconds. It should be around three. Last time I tested, it was like around three, three seconds only. I do have it though, 100%. Settings, stream. Latency mode, low latency, see? Like, I have it on. It's just, Twitch just sucks with this. 
I was actually trying to get it as close to one second as possible. I was watching a video from uh, a couple of other like stream professionals. And I did I do have the settings going on for myself, but it looks like it's still bad. The best you can get on Twitch is around a second, but it requires like very specific circumstances here. Which I tried to make it work, it for some reason it didn't, so I don't know. The back air connects. Oh Kubi with the nice DI is still leaving. Oh it goes for the ledge, but Trail was still holding it strongly. All right, guys, here it goes. Uh, our top eight is going to continue here with Trail versus Kubi. I can update this to you to show how is it looking so far. Looks like Travioli got the trio experience versus Ouija here. And remember, guys, Travioli did not uh, check in for his first match of the night. So now he's on a five-game run, loser side run which probably messed up the career of a bunch of people but anyways I do Twitch thing. it is most li most likely it is uh, it's cancer then thanks for explaining it to me though I appreciate it uh, I didn't I wasn't sure if that was him meant I thought it was but I wasn't sure it really sucks though like that was one thing that mixer had that was that like it looked like the moment you press enter to send a message to the streamer, if they were looking at it, it looked like it was that instant connectivity, right? The problem is that, like, I don't know. The I'm going to try experimenting with it again and see if I can work it out. But it just doesn't look like it's that possible. That's sad, though. They go back to Yoshi's here. That was Scooby's choice. Just three fairs in a row. Ooh, Trail avoids it. Oh, but he gets doesn't get to tech. Good stuff here. Kubi getting the first stock. Mm, but that should be it. Yep. Get a grab and the, the game is over. The stock is over. Guys, if you're not following the channel yet, please drop us a follow, it's free. Helps us keep the action going here every single week. I appreciate it very much, you can always stay tuned. I want to make more content besides just the melee stuff. Yo, Sign Tackle, thank you so much my friend, welcome to the scouts. I saw that you're ready to play today and I appreciate you coming along. Did you play the amateur bracket sand tackle? It was just a normal bracket. And is it right to call to say cyan tackle? Because I'm assuming it's something about otaku. I might be wrong though. Might be wrong. You should have registered for the amateur bracket, but could have gotten a couple more games. Got through at first. Oh, that's so unlucky. Next week, make sure you register for the amateur bracket. It's a good stuff to get get yourself a good run. There's just more possibilities. I was just tilted, my dude. <laughs> it's no big deal, dude. It, it happens. Like I, there's a part of me that encourages players to play in the main bracket because it, it's good to have experience versus better players. To at least like start having that feeling, right, and getting used to it. At the same time, I know how frustrating, like, I 100% I know how frustrating it can be to just get absolutely destroyed, absolutely bodied. Because that haps, happens to me, like, pretty much every single time I try to play the game. However, oh, the movement by Kubi is looking very swaggish. The idea is that, like, if you play the main bracket, just go with it, like, the most chill perspective possible. Like, no, if, if you know you're a beginner and that you should play on the amateur bracket, just go to the main bracket and be like, you know what? I know. If anything, I think you can actually just, like, talk to your opponent. Just say, yo, I'm more a beginner. I don't have too much experience with this matchup or whatnot, whatever. I first turned back in a long time. And I got a Ganon, which is my most hated matchup. <laughs> and not any Ganon, per se. That's the thing. Treo is a very good Ganondorf player. 
it certainly uh, gets the, can get the job done. But I encourage you and other players to just like talk to your opponents. Like, Yo, uh, so how does this work? Like, yeah. Any any tips? Anything that you noticed on oh, my gameplay that wasn't too good, or any uh, behaviors that you were exploiting? Some bad muscle memory. Oh, that up there can be very problematic now. Could be no manages to, to land. And then is out. But Sopo is strong still. And as well, the plane is in stock. In and off. Yeah, no. And by beginner is like I think I think the, the correct term that people should use is just like uh I don't know. What what's the best word to relate the fact that like we we haven't gotten like good results no matter how ma how long we have been playing it's just a matter of, like oh we we just are not on the level that we can you know place high on on brackets right because that's definitely my reality like over the weekend i was playing on a, a tournament for project plus called the freshman feud and it's supposed to be kind of like for new players but not necessarily. It's just because, like, if you get all the players and that they play in their own communities, their own regions, they are playing versus players that are much better than them, and they can never get any results. They're always like going zero two zero 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 two. So some players are definitely super beginners, but some of them are more uh, players like me. That it, when I play in my regions here in Ontario, I just get bodied. But then playing with other pl other players that also get bodied, then the matches can be a little bit more even. So. It uh, yeah, it's it can be much more fun, much more interesting when you have matches that are more balanced. I think I can see a future where what I, what I would like to see for for a, a sleepy like manager, a sleepy launcher together is like an automated system for tournaments, just like Battle.net used to have. So Battle.net back in the, the StarCraft and Warcraft three days. I'm not sure about StarCraft actually, but for Warcraft 3 for sure, they had a system that I believe it was every day, but also every weekend. Like I think League now has stuff like, and Dota also has the Battle Cup every weekend, which is like specific times of of the weekend days where you you log in and you're gonna play in a in a in a tournament. Like the the matches that you play are gonna be counted towards a a bracket or something of the sorts. And that is something that is total, total, totally doable in in Smash. It, it would be, it would be super cool to see something like that for, and that is already like, in the in the melee system. You know what I mean? It is already in the launcher by default. That would be really hype to see. And I don't know what's going on with my graphics card that is uh, dying pretty much. I probably should... Wait, desktop window manager. What the hell is this? I'm gonna delete this task. To become unusable or shut down? Okay, I don't know. There's a Windows process here that is using 25% of my GPU and I have no idea why. Oh... I did not send, saw the end of that set. Who won? Was it Treo? I guess it was Treo. Sorry, guys. When is so annoying of that? Is it the Telemer thing? I don't know. I have no idea what this is. The first time I've seen it. Desktop window manager. And it's using like a shit ton of my of my desktop. Oh, of my GPU. No, you can't. I can't. Open file location. It's not a virus. Okay. Yo, Cat of Shine, what's up? I'm definitely going to have to look this up. 
It might be because I'm running Windows in test mode. And I'm running Windows in test mode because I have Windows uh, sending Melee to the CRT here. Guys, the CRT, it's absurd that it's actually a CRT. It looks like a monitor, which gives me the weird, weird vibes because I, I thought I would be seeing scan lines, but I'm actually not. So it's pretty dope. Not going to lie. This is going to be the crown jewel here off the... They both are, honestly. They're both of my CRTs here. They are some of the like the, the best CRTs ever made. Just just ask any enthusiast about the FV310 and the XBR910. And if you're and if you are a CRT enthusiast, you will understand what these models are. And so I'm gonna have this one at the very corner there. We're gonna use it to play games on it. Because I, then I can play actual, like, I want to play an ultimate on it. It's going to look so cool on an actual CRT. Or maybe downscale it to that one. Ah, there's so many things that I'm going to be able to do when, whenever my setup is ready. Uh, where is the game, by the way? What are these guys waiting for? Oh, guess what, guys? Trail closed the broadcast. I try my best, guys. I try my best. But if the broadcast stopped, there's nothing I can do. Literally nothing I can do. Uh, Travioli is waiting for the loser of this match here, it looks like. And Freezes is 2-1 so far versus Aggie. They are also not broadcasting, so I cannot... I cannot watch because this is Mac. The frustrations of being a TO. I I really wish the the broadcast was different, honestly. Now the more the more I TO, the more I wish the broadcast system was different. That I could uh I could send a code and then those players would be quote unquote forced to play on that code. So they have no chance of doing this. No chance of closing the broadcast. It's like now I, I that's the thing. I don't have anything here. Oh, by the way, is my is my spot Spotify not playing? There you go. We were missing uh background music. <sighs> There's nothing I can do guys. So we're gonna have to wait for the next match. Very unfortunate. No way to see the results. I'll broadcast game five. Sounds good. I'll I'll watch that. Appreciate it, Freezes. And like I know Trey was a homie, but then I don't know if he's mad if it's like lagging. I mean he just won game two, game three. I don't know why he would be molding about lag. Ubi has reported the game. Trail verified. Okay, trail one. Uh, all right, so I guess we have winner's finals right now. Let's see. I don't see yours. Streaming. I'm refreshing. I don't see it. Oh, now, now I see it. Okay, Mac, are you in the stream? Hello, Mac, 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 are you there? S S B Mac Mac. Uh, we're going into your match in a quick bit. We're just gonna watch this game. He's making tea right now. <laughs> okay, he has a second then because we're just gonna watch freezes versus versus Eggy real quick while they get ready. He's making tea. Thank you for letting us know. This is not winner's Sammy's, by the way. This is like losers. Shit, I'm clicking the wrong one. This is losers Aves. Kubi's gonna play Travioli. I hope that was not the laggy situation. Some of these guys would not play because of lag. The one C. 
trivially having to DQ because of that. Alright, Freeze is getting the first stock here. Oh. The fastest Lash Dashes of the top town. And Aggie ties up the set here. And that grab looked like he grabbed Peach's uh, rear. And he did it again. Fox is a naughty fella. the stage with the side B. Very even right now, but he's gonna strike first here on this stock. Oh, another grab. Goes for the, straight for the angle and another one. That's enough. Aggie takes it. He's a full stock ahead, and Freeze is gonna have to dig deep. He wants to get a better result in seventh place. Okay, the Flak Crocodile helps a little bit of the recovery there. Goes for the Flutter Rush. And still hitting. Oh, the Parasol. Oh, the power shooting to grab. Great sequence there. Oh no, he goes back to the stage. And Aggie was ready. Wow, Peach Bomber, really Aggie. Okay, Freeze is at 117, but it's the last stock. Can he get some kind of clutch moment here? Clutch box? Clutch freezes? Clutch 304? Mmm, a grab. Okay. They trade. Oh, that was enough! I cannot believe this. It looks like it looked like it wasn't gonna be, but it was. And Freezes ends up ending this the the game at ending the tournament at seventh place. Good stuff here by Freezes. Still, will probably need some better that widescreen so this up. It is, but remember, it is the game. You have to follow the the, the actual space, <laughs> the actual lines. You know what could be kind of done? Potentially not. I don't know. Could potentially have the lines draw on the on the background of the stage. You kind of like have an idea of where you're gonna, it's going to explode. But I don't understand why people complain about that. Like, w how better would be to like just know, oh, I'm going to die if I reach there. You know you have to DI anyway. So just DI, of course. There's there's nothing around it. You have to DI to survive. Uh, with that said, we are already in. And it's going to be Mac versus Trail. Freezes, you gotta You gotta keep pushing, my friend. You gotta JV Ford him game three and FD, wow. No, not not with that mentality, Freezes. Come on. You have to keep going, my friend. I know it, it's not easy. But you have to push it through. And who am I to say anything? I have the worst mentality as well. All right, let's go back to winner's finals. Let's go. We can get get a attack shine out of winners early. <laughs> Top four players first stock each other all the time. Punish game is a decider. True. 
that is like something that you have to literally tattoo in your brain see so you have to to burn that into your brain into your mind to realize that melee is a game where taking a stock without taking any damage and getting like a good advantage out of it happens all the time you do that other people do that and it is a game so even when you're behind you know, two stocks three stocks like the game is definitely not over you can do better you can like keep going so you have to just play each stock at a time it is what it is and with that said guys winners finals coming up right now it's going to be mac versus trail number one versus number two of the evening this is week number five of the melee sick pro series season five circuit guys these players are trying to qualify for the season's finals to happen on June 12, Saturday at 4 p.m. So stay tuned, please. I want to see all of you guys there. It's going to be what a knee. That was like, that was the most meticulous knee I've ever seen. It, it was like a, you know, it had the precision of a, an insane, you know, doctor saint operator to get something like that holy moly simmons good luck in your match so far like the entire all this my, my sitting was pretty much on the money here besides ouija which was the one that managed to get a little bit ahead oh and they have smash connects about quitting this game like 10 times this week oh freezes i thought about quitting this game a billion times over the last two years it is what it is, dude. I understand completely. You know, you're just gonna play. Yeah, just play, just play. If you guys play fast enough, it should be we should be able to go just straight to lose your semis. You're still doing well, freezes, and I'm 100% sure you can play in the finals. Think about this. Even if you're doing bad right now, even if you're doing bad right now, think just think about this. The chances of you at least getting in during the during the the arcadian are really high so, uh, don't worry don't worry dude like go to the finals because if you go to the finals you don't know what's gonna happen nerves and other people might not play as well like or you just might play to your best ever many things might happen but like, you gotta give it the opportunity for things to happen so you have to go and play Like, if you want to, like, take a break next week and just go directly to the arcade, and that's a possibility. But I have to tally up your score, to be honest. So today's number 62, and you got 130. Right? All right, Trail, making quick work here. I got to tally up your score. I don't know. Which, uh... Which what's what's it say? How well did you place last week? Let me see. Smash Dodge GG's TSW at 61. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Did you play last week? I'm trying to remember. Freezes. Okay, you got nine. So that's a hundred. That's a hundred. Yeah. So right now you have 430, which is inching closer. You got knife, yeah. So, and you have also a top 16 placement with 70 points, which is not much. So you can still make make more. If you just play next week and get at least another ninth place, you get 30 more points, which I don't know how far that will put you. But you have the chance to at least sub out your lowest score. If you think you're not gonna do well and you, and you feel like you need the break, then skip their uh, skip next week and play the Arcadian. But if you want to give yourself the highest chances, doing. And then you gotta see who are the people that are gonna qualify to the finals. I think like, can you do well to get at least fourth place? Because, like, 
Who cares? Do you know why I make four trophies? Why I go the tr why I went the trouble to think like you know what? I don't want just the first place to feel that special because they got something. I feel like getting around like fourth place is already so meaningful in, in such a competitive game so in any tournament that this game hosts. And that's why like the Gladiator Scouts is not just the first place. Like the trophies don't go just for the first place. It's for everybody. So even if you get fourth place, dude, you got the sick trophy right here. You already got your medal from last season as well. Yeah, if you get a fifth place, then you would get 110 more points because it would sub out your your 70, and that would put you around 540. That might break in. And also, there's another thing you gotta take into account, for instance. A bunch of these people are gonna say, "Oh, I can't play." So maybe you're gonna get a couple of these guys that have insane amounts of points and they just can't play. So if that happens. Then you can get in. But when I say these things, you can you can blame me if you like play next week and then you do horrible. Like it is what it is. It's the game. It's sad. Like I can't promise people that by joining my tournaments they're gonna have fun. <laughs> it's frustrating to play this game. It is the reality of it. I've thought many times like, man, should I really keep hosting tournaments where the majority of people are gonna feel horrible after playing? <laughs> like. I'm, I've been trying to think, like, the, the majority of melee players that choose to compete in the tournament are in a good plan, uh, in a good place, you know, mental healthly speaking, that they, uh, that they will not feel horrible about participating because of the results of it and whatnot. And it's tough, it's rough. But the reality, even that when I feel horrible, like, I give it a couple more days, and I'm like, damn. And then you see a video, like, you watch a video on Twitter or a video on YouTube about combos and stuff. Like, mm, man, you want to pick up the control. You want to do stuff. You want to potentially do better. It, it's hard to keep the, the a good mentality up. I completely understand. But I've honestly been pushing through as well. I, <laughs> I was telling my friends, they're like, I've... I'm getting better at the game, one bitching at a time, one complaint at a time, which is not how it should be, honestly. Oh, Mac, all right, guess game two. It's not how it should be, honestly. You should getting, get better by, you know, having a good mentality, working your difficulties and whatnot. Whoa, Travioli 2, whoa, versus Scooby so far, wow. It's a great result for Travioli. I hope they're not lagging too much. Are they memeing? Let me check Kubi's stream. They might be memeing. I hope they aren't. Freaking ads, dude. Pretty much been my grind lately. A lot of random losses out of my control, but knowing where I send among the nerds is hype. True. No way. I think I'll be doing much better soon. Oh, Ouija. Ouija, my friend. You have to take the pill. Look at this. Take the DIY pill, dude. And make yourself a sick, slick half inch controller. Just like mine. Take the the box slash rectangle slash DIY pill. Yo, Travi only 3 0 Kubi. Damn. Good stuff by Trav. Knowing where I send amongst the nerds is not hype for me. <laughs> like rocket science to me, I'd rather just use my keyboard. You see, Ouija, I, when I did my first box, which is behind me, you might be able to see, let's see if I can point it like this right there where my finger is. I had, I had never soldered anything before and I, I don't know how to program anything, I don't know how to code. And still, there are guides online and just follow them and you do it and it's pretty fun. You learn how to do something new. And it's a new controller. Even if you feel like you still prefer to play with a, a GameCube controller, you can use it for other fighting games. 
and either, even other like games. Let's like, say when I play platformers, it works very well. I still think it's good mental note to keep. Yeah, and if you lose, it's still doable. A Falcon Man, so there's that freezes. <laughs> Here comes the Johnny from Ouija. My hand's still breaking arcade stick, so I'll just keep million on that to row. How would that be a thing, hit scan? You need to use a good layout though. Like, I'm already like not native, because supposedly this button here is supposed to be B. This bottom here, and this is supposed to be R, and you're supposed to wave dash like this. But I wave dash here. I change my B and my R, so I have blood on my hands. The reality is, the controller was much more thought for spaces that use B much more than a Marf does. So it makes a lot of sense for Marf to switch B and R. But outside of that, like, it's, it's cool. But people on the DIY uh, box discords, they are... They can come up, they come up with some interesting designs. All right, the knee kills is actually enough. And Treo is behind here, Mac, showing why he was the first seed tonight. Ooh, that was so much shoot pressure, but no breaking here. It's still low. He's gonna make it hard for, for Treo to keep it going. Over the back here, connects and Trio still has Nana, so he can definitely fight for this last stock here. The gentleman separates. He actually finds the back air on Nana. Oh, in the knee as well. Okay, so Mech does it, and right now, two games apiece. Wow, good stuff here. Six buttons make my hands all funky. I don't think 12 will work. <laughs> I've seen the advancements. Well, I had a much like higher. Let me show you guys something. So, oh shit, the game is already starting. Wait. Do you know my record against Jay Salt? Zero fifteen. Well. <laughs> I don't think that's like the, the, the healthiest way to, for you to look at things. It's like, should should like someone like uh, what's his name, Asfat, just give up on everything because his record versus Zane is like zero twenty. He's still there, dude. He's still taking names, just like you take names as well. So, my idea with my box was to get a piece of wood like this, then route the insides to form the walls, so the, the sides of it would be looking very cleanly. Yo, what's up, lol, Robert, for the win! Yes, we got the Brazilian flag and Canadian flag. I don't take names anymore. Well, you gotta find what's going on. Are you still practicing? And here's the thing, guys. I was gonna laser cut this, right? Look how okay it looks. The problem is, I got. I should have mirrored this design. Because when you try to put it here, you see the issue. This was reversed. So, I pretty much messed it up. It was supposed to close in, this was supposed to go in the, inside this box. So I messed it up, and I was very annoyed that this happened, but oh well. With each failure, we get closer to success. I know it's hard to keep up the, the high spirits, but it is what it is. With that said, let's focus on the end of this match here. The trail is behind. Mac is definitely kicking up a notch here. I, I'm so sad that I messed it up, dude. This was gonna be the cleanest uh, DIY controller ever. However, I already have a new idea for it. This game. Okay, trail fighting. And the next, my next idea is literally gonna be the sickest DIY controller the world has ever seen. Nothing is gonna compare to it. Absolutely nothing. Ooh, what's 
goes for the knee. Working on Anna. That's a dead Nana. Oh no, he makes it back. He recovers her, but at what cost? Trail tries so hard to save Nana, but it, the cost was too high, and that is it. Now, we have Simmons versus Aggie that they are playing here. Let me update this uh, top eight for you guys and show you and try to... Uh, okay, it hasn't updated yet, but you know them. The world ain't ready. Dude, so have you seen those videos of... Uh, Have you seen those videos where those guys make make those custom tables with like a piece of live wood? And wait, Yasin is Mac. No, Simmons are at our Aggie are broadcasting. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Scouts. Hit scan to them. We're getting close to the 500 homies. We are close. S nor, neither Simmons nor Aggie is broadcasting. Feels bad, man. Travioli is. Is Travioli in the chat? Where's Travioli? Oh, Trails in chat, Ouija. Thank you so much for being around, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, I wanted to have people broadcasting with me. I've been, I've been thinking some uh, a lot. How can I make the stream better? Oh, another slide. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're gonna have to wait a little bit, guys. Yo, Brin Dare is right here, guys. What's here is that, Beliz? Tomar uma aguinha gelada aqui, né, boy? Graças a Deus. Guys, uh, we're just waiting for the next match to get ready. Takes a while. What am I being added at? And then we're gonna have losers semis coming up in a little bit. We're just waiting for Simmons and Aggie to finish playing. I wish we could contact them directly to get the bot the uh, broadcast going. They are not in the stream here. They're not in the chat, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Not sure if they're gonna look at the chat. I wish they would. We only have Trav and Mac. That's correct, right? Yasin is Mac. Yeah. Yeah, there's no games going. Oh, they're still playing. Okay, so apparently, Trail and uh, Trail and Mac are just playing for fun. So I guess we're just gonna chill on that. Just let me remove the tournament stuff. We're just gonna chill here while we wait for the next match. We're gonna watch these uh, these two titans of the game duke it out. I think they, they apparently know each other based on the, the stuff they were going in chat. They're playing another battlefield. They're playing another wreck, like a ladder tournament. Oh, that might be it. That actually is that that's what they mean. That's what they meant when they said that they need to play back to back. You guys hear that? The nipple spike sound. Yeah, that was smashed by Trip and X. Good stuff here. Good stuff indeed. Still waiting for Simmons and Aggie, guys. 
might take a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it running here and uh, take a quick break. Just go to the washroom. So I'll leave you guys with the insane action between these two titans here. Mac and Trail. Mac is already advanced to Grand Finals. So I'll be right back. Just going to hit the bathroom. Simmons and Aggie are 2-2 now, so they're still going to have to play another game. But yeah, guys, uh, I've been thinking a lot that me doing the tournaments alone is just not going to cut it. I don't think it's that good on stream. So if any of you guys have any interest in participating in the tournaments in a more... Uh, how do I say? Not active role, but like, I don't know, just hanging out on Discord. I feel like if I had two or three people on Discord with me watching the games for commentary, it would be so much more interesting and, and more fun. The only problem that I see is that I don't think anyone else is going to be as committed to it as I am. And also, yo, Lone Rover, for the win. Thank you so much, my friend. For the follow, you're now a scout. Welcome to the scouts. Hope you're enjoying the show here. We're trying to bring the action every single week here with the melee brackets for the East Coast. But I think I might have to work out on my uh, my streaming settings here. Honestly, I think they're too high, surprisingly, and it's killing my GPU. Something is indeed going on. We almost got the knee. And the pressure from Mac is insane. So he certainly is doing an amazing job. Oh, he attacks, but he got a nair. So sad. Guys, this match is not in our tournament, by the way. Uh, Trail and Mac are facing each other in another bracket simultaneously. Mac won this one by 3-1 and looks like he might win this one as well. Oh no, a weird air dodge by Trail here. And this is either a 2-0 or a 3-0. Or a 2-1, I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah, they're running it again. I have a Twitter. Yo, Kubi in the chat. Do you want to watch the games live? Are you still streaming? You are. You want to hop in Discord and help me cast the rest of the tournament? Or are you just going to show and play? Was it too laggy versus Trevioli? Because you guys might face each other in the finals anyway, so you guys better find a way. So salty, I'm not gonna be able to do comms. <laughs> That's okay. 
Okay, no, I'm glad then. It's fine though. If... I'm just happy you guys could play because the chance of you facing each other in the finals is greatly and we cannot keep doing, you know, game and watch side B's first or four to decide uh, important stuff. And if JSOL wants to participate in the finals, it definitely needs to have a solid connection as well. I hope there's no storms or whatever making it impossible for him to join us. I remember, save the date, Kubi. June 12th. Very important day. I think I need to let Mac know. Ouija, you're watching, right? So make sure you and uh, you and Mac watch the YouTube videos. Just three minutes. It goes over how the how the circuit system works. And then if Mac plays next week, he will have the possibility of playing the finals. If he doesn't, there's zero chance. Even if he wins tonight, if he doesn't play next week, it's like, like the rules state that you have to play at least two events. So good for him that he joined this week. Which feels kind of sad if people join uh, last week. Because there's nothing that can be done. That's sad though. And Trail get a game here. It's interesting how uh, I see side B doesn't really doesn't really edge cancel. It looks like it doesn't. It just keeps spinning. Is that exactly how it's supposed to be? Most likely. Ooh, that is a weird hitbox, but it works. It actually works for Trail. I have no idea how ICs work, honestly. It's funny to think that like two years ago when I started playing Smash, wobbling was still legal. <laughs> and now it feels like such a long time ago. It was just two years. This is 2020 feels like such a, a gap year. I feel like it didn't properly exist. Alright, this should be potentially the last game of these guys in the other bracket. Oh, Travioli and Egg are playing. I'm dumb. What am I doing here? We gotta change gears. Lally Travioli is broadcasting to us. There's a part of me that wants for him to win so he can just keep following the broadcast without many issues. But yeah, get excited, guys. It's going to be Travioli versus Aggie. These guys. Wait, who's playing Fox? Are you guys kidding me? Travioli's playing Fox. Am I dumb? So Travis player one. And Aggie player two. Let's go. Guys, we're ready to rock. It's going to be loser semis. There we have it. Loser semis right now. Travioli versus Aggie. What is that hitbox from Haggy? He got the luckiest down smash ever. Sent Trav in the worst position possible. Ooh, Trav with this the 20xx stack skill like that. Damn. Okay, forget about that stock, guys. Let's just run it back. No homie stocks here by Aggie. I, I'm actually gonna ban homie stocks from my tournament. I hate homie stocks. Last two times I got homie stocked, I just quit out of the set. I am too proud to to be given a handout in the middle of a competitive set. Oh, 
Okay, Trevi always showing that he has his stack skill ready. Ooh, he almost got that up smash. And Trav here is just on another level. Oh, the muscle. Oh, he goes for it again, but Egg is just dancing around it. He gets the best angle possible. Goes for the up tilt, and that kills. Wow. Dude, you guys see that? Travioli. I like saying the word Travioli. This man plays like he's a stock in half, even when he's a stock behind. Dude, that is exactly how I play the Schmele game. Should always go in 100%. I'll make a different version of a melee that every time you dash back, you, you, you get a little bit of percent. It will cost your life to play defensively, to not go in like a, like a dumbass. It's going to be called the real melee. No dashing back, see? No, no, no such thing as baiting. You don't do baits. You just go in and throw moves. Whoever has the best schmooze win. Oh, Trevio, come on. You are too brave, my friend. And he waits the specific moment. Ravioli. It's just... He was behind at the start of the set, but he's bringing it all back. Don't count Aggie out, though. Just don't. He's still playing the game. He's still focused. The back air connects, though. And now is the sticky situation. Oh, makes it back. It's an air. The double nair. Well, the short is to punish. Where's the angle? Straight to the ledge. That ain't Falco. So no stunts in those lasers. The Nair connects. Ah, oh, that's too far away. No, he's living. What? Travi. Oh, the sour spot. That is so sad. And Travi just goes down. Okay, but you guys can see the level of action going on right now. Okay. That was nuts. That was absolutely nuts, guys. Just so you guys uh, can have an idea of how our top eight has been panning out. Uh, so Trav had to come from loser's side. And he's an absolutely in a big run here. Trio Weege, Trio Kubi. And he's now playing versus Aggie. But now he's behind. Because Aggie's been working hard. Look, 3-2 Freezes, 3-2 Simons. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another 3-2 here. Not surprised at all. Let's see how stadium works a little bit better. You guys know the low ceiling here. Oh, he just drops. He didn't have a jump, maybe. And now he's taking a breather. Jab up smash. Yep, you know it. You know it. So Travioli in our season here, let me see. He got two fourth places so far. And if he wins the set, he gets a third place guaranteed, but still has a chance to go even further. Beyond with such ledge guards, that actually might happen. This super sweet movement right there. You guys saw how fast that was. And look at the perfect angle as well. Oh my goodness. This guy is literally 20xx. He's destroying his fingers to win at a children's party game. 20 years after release and the pressure that this guy is putting on Aggie right now is just nuts. Look at that. He's just practicing tech skill. He's not even playing the game. He's destroying the moves on shield. And there's nothing Aggie can do. Or is there? He can trade with an air. Keeping it close. But the back air now is the problem. Oh, the shine spike. Okay, Travioli. JV3. He ties up the set. And we're going to game three here. Very, very nice indeed. Man, what a... What a pressure here. That was kind of nutty.
All right, game three, let's head it up. Wow, Trev choosing to bring the Sheik, the Spirit of J-Soul. As you guys can see here, he has the first place in his back. Incredible stuff. Travio is showing his uh, expertise with multiple characters. Bringing the Sheik for this game three here on FD. And so far, doing well here. Bringing the up air, not gonna kill yet. The next one surely will. Ooh, but oh, he almost makes it back. Very close. Air connects. Another back here for good measure. Just going for those solid hits, man. It's just trying to stay safe. Nothing too fancy here. It's just a good, good and honest uh, chic work right here. Travioli forcing the last stock here for Eggy. Maybe it was not expecting the Sheik. But here's the power guide. I think the more time passes, the more people will just have a, a secondary Sheik at least. And for me, it's only natural that more and more players are just at least getting a secondary. Oh, Eggy, that's so sad, my friend. Going down like that. He'll have another chance of redemption here on game four, and he'll have to fight hard for it. With that said, though, that's still a good placement, getting a solid fourth place. It might still not be enough for Eggy if he wants to go straight qualified. After the season's over, he might have to go through the Arcadian, which also spells terror to everybody else that is... Uh, that is playing on the season because some players might have to try their best to qualify directly because the Arcadian might be actually super stacked. The past seasons, the Arcadians were kind of like, you know, chill, let's put it like that. But this Arcadian, this Ar the Arcadian of this season might be quite stacked. And we have some players that uh, are just... Okay, Traviola this time, losing the first stock. Explosion makes it, and it just goes down after that fair. What's in the backup sheet, by the way? Uh, it's in the, it's a first place, and it's supposed to be Jay Salt's name because he won last season. Here's the thing, Ouija. I, I I have aspirations, right? I want to value the players that choose to participate in my tournaments. That's why I offer the the tournaments and everything else. But 
It's melee modding is not so simple. So here's the problem. Most of players' models, the, the, the textures of the characters, they're not... I mean, you know because you download uh, the, the textures. The textures are not like one texture for the entire front of the character. It's just like half of it, like one side, and then they, they just make it a mirror of the back on the other side. But I wanted to put, potentially put the first place like on just one side, like a jersey would be, and have the name of the player on the back. Because this is Jay Salt's color on, on the sheet. And only... You know, I mean, it's, it's in homage because he was the first place of last season. I wanted to do that to all the 12 finalists of last season. But guess what? It's not easy. So, I decided to just leave for now the very first place. Because at least Jay Salt answered me when I asked all the players, Yo, uh, you know, how... Which colors do you guys play? Which colors do you guys want? And you need to go in an order of preference, right? Because each player would get one. And that's the thing, like, I have so many great ideas for making the tournaments and the community cool. But majority of the players that join kind of like don't give a damn. And it makes me a bit sad, but... I will continue working hard for the players that actually care. So, the more you guys participate and, and are around, the better things could be and that it was another sad stock loss by Aggie here just one going down slowly again and Travioli might have a chance to not even go game four it's not gonna be easy though Aggie doing a little bit better here on Dreamland oh that could have been another snipe but so much damage and the percent is already reverse Trev, ooh, can he, uh, can he make it back? Goes for the angle, all right. And the air connects. So Aggie not going quietly into the night, not at all. Will definitely force the issue here. Tying up the set 2-2, two -two, and here it is, the last game of the set. There's no way, this is the end of the line. Loser ends the, the, the tournament at solid fourth place out of like 36 entrants, I think, or 30 something, 38. Winner goes to face Trail in another best of five for losers final. So we'll see how that is going to uh, proceed. But outside of that, yeah, lots of hype stuff going on. All right. That mellow box LFG. I have the Scout F LFG. Here's the thing, hits cancer then. You see how that is a is a fake LFG ball? Because people had to do a redesign. Me, an actual actual tryhard, I went to Shutterstock and I bought the rights to use the LFG ball like a professional. So I could have it honestly as a <laughs> as an emote on my channel. Oh, even gets the F smash! Wow. Yo, Mac, did you watch the video about the 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 circuit season? Do you have your your Saturday, June 12 free at 4 p.m. to play in the finals? And if you do, remember you're gonna have. To, um, to play next week. If you don't play next week... Oh, no, Trevio, don't go down like that. And then you you might have a chance. Because, like, even if you lose winner's uh, grand finals, you're already making 450. 450 points into our system. Which is almost enough to qualify for finals. Watch the video. It's just three minutes. Just three minutes. Because here's the thing. You might be a player, you know. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Because Jay Salt, you know. Jay Salt has yet to lose to anybody in this event. He's been joining us for a while now, since Season 4. He was the undisputed winner of Season 4. 
He got himself a nice medal, which you can check on Twitter. I think he posted a picture with it. Um, oh no, Trevioli! You can do that, my friend. They're not desync, are they? Wait, was that a desync? Or just Trav just give up? What? Oh, shoot. Alright. <laughs> okay. So, uh, sweaty hands. Oh, no. Poor Travioli, dude. Alright. Uh, so, we're going to ask Aggie to be a homie and broadcast to us. Or Trail. Hopefully, Trail is around. Is Trail on stream? Is he in the chat? Trail sucks. Not around. So, let me call him out. You are up. You're up. Check in. Okay, guys, we're going to winners. Oh, to losers uh, finals right now. Trevioli versus Aggie. It's going to be very hype. It's going to be Isis or Ganon versus Peach. So we'll see. But yeah, Mac, it's going to be on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, uh, June 12th is when the finals are going to occur. It's going to be a, a birthday stream to celebrate the end of the season and my birthday together. It's going to be lots of fun. It starts at 4 p.m. And you need to play next week. Don't forget. You can already reg for next week, by the way. Just type in smash.gg slash TSWS63. And you're going to find the links there already. Oh, the uh, I forgot today is a holiday in Canada, so there's some uh, fireworks going on. I for had forgotten about that. Might be the reason why we're we're not seeing many Canadians tonight. Anyways, we're waiting for them to get started, guys. Uh, Aggie's yet to check in. Anybody knows Aggie? And we see a broadcast, not yet. Real things. Oh, Chicago top three. Damn. <laughs> All right. Treo is just doing some battery. I am Brazilian, unfortunately, Mac. JK, dude. Uh, well, I don't know. But I am. <laughs> For the horde, then yes. Now you can actually see better. Maybe, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to move in a little bit. It's still kind of, kind of hard to see. They, they don't light up the that flag very well. I just started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's sick, low. Your people are warriors. See, I don't know if that is like if 100% of that fighting style originated there. Because there was Jiu Jitsu already. Yeah, music though, I can kind of I can kind of agree. But yeah, you're not the first one to talk about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu when i said there was a brazilian like because here's the thing <laughs> i'm a freaking nerd dude that's that's why i moved to canada okay i had the chance to go to australia or canada why do you think i chose canada just just think about it do you really think i look like someone that would do bjj no and do i look like do i look like someone that would do bj no as well that's a double negative for you so yes uh but yeah it's pretty sick though uh i from time to time i, I try to get into watching some usc ufc fights though derived from judo okay i had a bunch of friends that did judo in brazil as well where is the broadcast trey was broadcasting to us so we oh shit i forgot that i have to close this 
We are going in, homies. Good to go. Losers finals. It's close to America. That's right. Well, the main reason is it's close to the servers. This is what I was interested in. Whoa, he's going Ganon? Losers finals, Ganondorf, let's go. We have Aggie versus Trail. All right, they're ready to go now. See, Mac, I've played World of Warcraft. That's how I learned English, pretty much. A lot of my, like, I'd say at least half of my English was because of World of Warcraft. And video games in general, right? And playing from Brazil was always laggy. You guys complain about, you know, 50 milliseconds, 60 milliseconds in melee. I was playing WoW, which given, okay, it's not so framed perfectly. Uh, it's been a while since I played it. Like, I've, I've lost the passion for it. Like, I found the memories still. It's sad, Robert. I bought Shadowlands and I didn't log a single day. And then I know TBC was gonna come out, but I've just been trying to play other games. I just think like Blizzard overall is dead. It's, it has been dead for a while. It's the same thing as the Simpsons, the, the zombie Simpsons thing. So I just got overwhelmed. Yeah, it gets to a point where the game is, is, is just a job. It's a part-time job. I really miss the days like where your character was quote unquote done. When, when the, the Diablo team went to develop WoW a little bit, or help, and they made these things that the, the character can keep progressing forever, which there is an appeal to that. Yeah, Legion, Legion wasn't as bad, but there was certainly the, already the, the concepts that started to, to make the game not good enough for me anymore. Like these things of, of the character never being done is, is never cool. Because like, I remember my character in Cataclysm, you know, I play Rogue, of course, I'm Brazilian Rogue, you know, I shift people, stab them in the back. And... Uh, yeah, I didn't play as much either, honestly. The first seven days of Classic, I played over five days of concurrent time. So I, I was really up there on keeping up, like, leveling ultra fast. And then I got to 58 and I didn't, I didn't finish. I was just like, I, I guess I started a new job and it just wasn't really feeling like it. I don't know. It, it sucks, dude, because I, I love the game. I have so many memories of it. And it got to that point where I was just like, man, it just feels like a, a job. When I'm playing Smash, it doesn't feel like it is something that... Like, and I completely understand that to get good at the game, you have to kind of make it more around that level of like having a commitment of practicing a little bit every day, like having focus practice, join tournaments, this type of thing, which would relate a little bit more. But just to play WoW, it takes so much time. Uh, man, I play a little bit of everything, I'd say. There's nothing that I'm currently too focused besides like Smash, but I mean... I have my 3DS besides my bed there, that I'm playing uh, Ace Attorney 6. But you can't see from here, maybe if I turn this. That is an entire shelf full of video games. And you can see how my bad the angle of my camera is. But uh, that is a shelf full of video games. I have quite the quite a collection. Me and my brother, like it's a joint collection. And here's the thing. My room is my basement, the basement of the house. The idea here is that I wanted to, to have a, a Canadian summit, I wanted to, to host events. I mean, I would do an East Coast summit if I could, but then I don't know if people would have, who would pay to fly here to Ontario to play. Well, a little bit for Brazil, but a more about my, my soccer team. This symbol here, Palmeiras, is my soccer team from Brazil. But I like the green color as well, so I made the entire uh, branding of the channel around the, the black and green. These are some cool colors. To be honest, they're not get that good as floodlights like that. Th there's a reason why people use those kind of baby blue and purple. 
Brazilian player for Amelia. I don't really know, dude. I don't really know. The, the, the scene is far from being big enough there. And here's the thing. I'm not from the, the known parts of Brazil. Like, I'm not from Rio, not from Sao Paulo. I'm actually from, like, kind of like the countryside of the, uh, the country. Like, my state is a state that just has, like, farms and raises cattle. It's like the, kind of like the Midwest of Brazil, the equivalent. And that's why, like, I always, in a way, found out of place because I always liked video games too much. But nobody in Brazil, unless if you're, you're only going to find communities that, that likes, like, Nintendo games if you were in these la super large cities. Because if you were in just in like the smaller areas like that, people pretty much all, all, always had PlayStations because you could, it was easily pirated, right? You just install a mod chip and you burn your own discs, your own games. And people were like, majority of people were just playing freaking Winning Eleven, which was like the soccer game before FIFA. Their high school, the weirdest thing they did was eat entire hot dog buns with butter. I'm not going to say that's a Brazilian thing, but I've probably did that before in my life, but that's just because I like bread and butter. Like I buy all different types of bread and eat it with butter. It's just that good. Uh, but yeah, there's not never. I, there is a, a Brazilian melee scene for sure, and it definitely got a little bit more alive because of Sleepy. Because Brazil is fairly large. Uh, I think it's the fifth largest country in the world. So even if like even if I was living there still. And I was in uh, in my state. It would be possible for me to play versus guys in Rio or Sao Paulo with a uh, you know proper connection. But outside of that, it wasn't really that big of a thing. I was I'm also really into Dota, since you were asking other games that I play. But I don't play as much. Like Dota is. I I just think like the the, the triple axis of, of esports is dota melee and counter-strike these three is like the, the 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 highest echelon of gaming consider it me uh, like melee fgc or not like of a 1v1 fighting game even if there's no hp w uh, bar whatever i still think melee is is above in like levels of hypeness and tears of uh of things that make me interested in watching it and following it yeah. i feel bad for canada they, they got dominated by league brazil also got dominated by league too it sucks the highest tiers like even like china china is strong in dota russia as well the philippines all the like the southeast asia but then all the americas and a bunch of uh, oh, Europe, Europe not as much, but all the Americas are are league heavy, which is just sad. It's just like, it's hard to convince someone. Like think of how hard it is to convince someone to to, for example, drop ultimate and play melee. Think someone that has been dedicating himself to playing Smash Four and now ultimate, and how hard it is to to come to convince them. Yo, you should play melee because this, this, and this. It's hard for people to just drop what they already do. So if I were to convince you, yo, play Dota. Dota is the melee. I am fortunately, with all due respects, I am. With all due respects. Because I don't think Ultimate is bad. I don't think League is bad. I just think the other games have more to them. And at the end of the day, it's more of like a, a philosophy thing. I think in life, we should just, since we only have one life, you might as well try and do like the hardest things or the the most difficult things. And there's nothing wrong with doing anything. You do whatever you want. Everybody should do what they they feel like they should do. It's just like if you look at it, like it's pretty much that. And then I have a, like the guy from the from the DIY box crane. He he plays league. And then the only argument he uses is that, yeah, no, that's the problem, uh, Robert. That is completely understandable. That is 100% uh, 
a big reason why people end up sticking to the game. Because if you are the friend that say, yo, let's let's try playing Dota a little bit, then people are like, eh. And then you're gonna see, even if you are a person that is more open to trying different things, then you have a couple of friends that aren't, and they're like, eh. And then they play one game, they get absolutely destroyed, even versus bots. They're like, eh. It's, it's natural for human beings to just not like change. It's completely natural for us to just like do what we're comfortable with. While me, like I have a group of friends that I got to know through Smash, and they play League as well. So since they are my friends, oh, okay, I'll just, let's just play a League a little bit. And I downloaded that Blitz.gg thing that just do the builds for you. And I don't know, I could, I can play with them. I'm not good, but at least I'm kind of useful. But even if you have the the builds in Dota. The things that you have to do on the map are just so much more complicated. It's not just Baron and Dragon. And that's the beauty that I see in Dota, that League. I wish League would force a little bit more, like having more objectives in the in the stage. Because the objectives in Dota, they force engagement between the teams. If you don't go there to try and contest certain map objectives, you're going to be left behind. And the complexity and possibilities, yeah, that is, that is, uh, you see, that's a great thing. Like, the Nyes in Dota, you can compare that to kind of like L Cancel, which is a mechanic that I kind of like don't like in Melee, to be honest. I don't like L Cancel as a mechanic, even though it kind of like serves to balance, uh, that serves to balance Melee. I don't think like... If you were designing a fighting game, you would not put a mechanic like L Cancel to it uh, on purpose. Even though we understand that Sakurai did put it in, but we all know he was far from uh, seeing how the game would develop. And in the grand scheme of things, with everything else that melee, uh, the melee has, if anything, I think a. a I think a game development team would definitely just try to nerf the other things and then remove L cancel instead of like using L cancel as a as a way to make things fair. But anyway, this is just my opinion. Anyway, I don't I don't want to step in anyone's toes that that love the mechanic that feel good like because they practice so much and now uh, I think I saw Magi saying when when uh, one interview that you know, how she loves to, to to play the game, how it's awesome, how she how good it feels when she's getting all the old cancels correctly and stuff. And I can see the value in that. It's just I don't think it adds that much because what is interesting for me in a game like Melee are the interactions and choices between players. I had a huge dis a huge discussion, and this might be a hot take. Well, the problem is that it I think it. It, it, it is like a way of balancing certain techniques that are hard, that require that execution. The problem, in my opinion, is that like people at a high level, they already will do that anyway. But that is an argument for another day. Anyway, Trail here. This like matches are taking their while. Aggie and Trail are not giving up for sure. And Trail finds the fair, not gonna kill yet. Right, big fair and trail forces the last stock here. Oh, an up B there. What is Aggie thinking? Doesn't matter, they're still going at it. Trail was actually using the boomer card on on the chat. Zero one hundred for the champs of yeah. Well Dota has I think close to one thirty, but here's the thing. Every single hero in League has one passive for abilities. And that's it. And for what I've seen, like the majority of items in League are passive. While the majority of items in, in Dota are usable. 
So it's not uncommon for you to see like a, a six slotted uh, hero with six items that are usable. And Trail gets the fair. Let's go, Trail. Nice, nice. Trail gets the big fair, and he's one game ahead now. Needs one more to close it out. I don't know why my, my graphics card is dropping frames. I definitely have to look that up. I need to lower down the settings a little bit. I like one active in your inventory and always forget to use it. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's rough, dude. Like, I was trying to play it the other day. I just downloaded it, Dota again just to... Since I was playing Lego Style, I'll just play a couple of Dota games as well. And there's just so much stuff. Like... You need to be like PhD levels of of studying the game just to to be a little bit usable. But Trail is doing it. I mean, Ed Carry, I see. Are there items that increase the range in League? Because Dota added a couple items that increase the range. There's melee on the screen, yeah, dude. Melee all the time. I'm having to close the preview on an OBS. So just watch here on the CRT. Although the camera won't pick me very well, nor the mic. I guess thanks for hanging around, guys. Appreciate the viewership here. Travioli in the chat. Travioli, you got another fourth place, dude. You do variety streams. Uh, I was trying, but I wasn't doing very well. I've I've been considering a lot what I'm what I want to do. What I feel like I I'm not gonna lie. What I feel like I lack for making my streams better is just having more friends that that want to play other games. Cause I have these niche friends like oh friends that play League, friends that play Dota, friends that oh, friends that play Smash. But I myself and a, and a person that plays a bunch of stuff. And being alone on stream, I don't think it's as fun, especially since I'm more extroverted. So when I have people to talk on stream, I interact, it's so much better for me. Like for me right now, it's been a great stream because people are interacting me with me and, and talking and debating. But when I have nobody to, to talk about, to meme around or whatever, then I like, you know, fake it to make it whatever, but it's, it's not, it's not easy. I don't know. I went, I, I have so many games that, I, that I, I haven't played yet, that I bought, that I was like, oh, I want to stream this, I want to stream this. But then I don't, because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I need to work on this, I need to do this, I need to do that. And I probably want to dedicate more of my time to YouTube, honestly. Because growing on Twitch is pretty much impossible. Like, there's a, a zero sum problem on Twitch that you guys are watching my stream right now and because of that you're not watching someone else well if I were to post a video on YouTube you can watch my video and then you can watch Mr. Beast or you can watch anyone else that you feel like it and everybody gets a little bit of, of the support while the stream is more you know only one person gets the cake with that said, we have Ramita88 here cheering for Aggie. And Aggie definitely needs some help here. Oh, shoots that right on time. So I should go for the double grab. And get it. They trade. And they get the stock, but Aggie is behind now. There's Ganon's pretty good, though. It is, dude. It is. There is actually very, very good with the, the evil men. What's going on with my GPU, honestly? I really don't get it. It says my GPU is using 99%. That makes no sense. Oh, the grab. If Aggie can get the stock right now, I could see it potentially happen. But he needs this stock right now. No more damage. Okay, in there. There we go. And another one. But this is Ganon. What? Why? Why didn't Trail... Why didn't Trail try to recover? This is Ganon, dude. 
Oh my god. Oh, dude, Trio just gave up. Yeah, where are the side bees? Or did he? Maybe he didn't. Trio. Oh, air dodges, but another grab and a slap. Oh, another grab. Good positioning by Aggie. The F throw. Still had to jump. Oh, stops the side B. The wizard's foot and just the F throw. Aggie does it. That was 100% unexpected. Definitely getting edge guarded there. What? Dude. How is Aggie doing this? Wow. Insane stuff, guys. Uh, damn. I don't think you should have given up that stock that easily. And okay, the server didn't update it yet. But this is the run that we have here for the top eight, guys. Mac is waiting grand finals in the chat. Aggie actually did it. And thank you for your suggestion, Mac, of like reducing the putting the stream to be as low latency as possible. I do have that going on, but it didn't particularly work. It's actually laggier than it should have been. I don't know why. I'll look into that this week to make sure we have as instant communication as possible. Because I see that you guys are reacting to, to the things that happened a long time ago. So it's quite weird. Anyway, we're going to game five here and off the line. I'll do some Dota streams. It's hard though. That game is nuts. And I usually just play support anyway. I, I, I'm a good, I'm a bad person like pointing and clicking. That's why I do even worse in League because League you have to, to move like much faster, I'd say. Like Dota gets much faster at the end of the game. <laughs> the hit scan there. Oh man, it's so funny. Just like, I was I was showing a clip. I'll, I'll do that after the stream. If you guys hang out at the stream, I'll show you guys the type of thing that I was I was explaining to to some of my league friends. Or why some things in Dota are just like really cool. By the way, you guys should always if you didn't watch, you should definitely check the the Dota uh, documentaries out. There's some like the coolest like stories, and seeing that raw competition thing, activate items, yeah. And the speed buff and chain resilient, yeah. I might have played it. Only Dota has that. Uh, there's a character that does uh, does apply. Like you have one of one skill that makes you or whoever you use it on go super fast for a few seconds. But the cool ability that this guy this um that the same character has is called vacuum where like you you point it you point like an area and that area sucks everything to the middle right and then you can already imagine that the super plays i have like the wombo combos of you have a hero that stuns an area and then he sends this stun before and right when he's about to hit this guy blinks in and sucks everybody to get hit by the sun or shenanigans like that. It's just so nuts. The the amount of wombo combo possibilities. Another thing that I find quite like I don't know. And that might be just my boomer brain or my, my lack of experience with Dota. Is uh Oh my my lack of experience with League is It feels like the majority of skills are just super instant. Which I understand that that's what they're going for. Their their majority of stuff that they're doing is is supposed to be more of that twitchy reaction, fast moving stuff, and it's fun. Like it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just because then it feels like majority of skills are super samey. They 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 really look the same. And one thing that it's not 100% related, but like just the fact that everybody addresses all skills by Q, W, E, and R. And like, for me, it just goes, it, it's like a little bit of an aspect. It just goes to show how the skills are kind of like the same, that you don't even 
worry about knowing the names of it because they're they're all just lookalikes. And it's just a bunch of things that is just like, oh, just damage. And things that are, that look to be super instant. And that is the type of thing that League players sometimes when they move to Dota is like, oh, the game is too slow. It's because when you go to throw a stun, it's not just a projectile that randomly gets out of your character and hits the opponent. Like the, you see the hero actually doing an animation and this done going. So it's more like playing Ganondorf, I'd say. And everything is much more hit risk reward. Oh, the wizard's foot. No, it's not gonna kill Aggie with the DI. Oh, it's still surviving. Dude, if Aggie... Okay, I was gonna say if Aggie wins this, I was gonna get him the grand finals. And Trail, very happy with the W there. You can see the taunt. He's just memeing along because he was calling out saying that he as a boomer would be able to win versus the <laughs> the zoomers there. Alright. Uh I'm gonna hop into max stream actually instead of trails. Although it doesn't make a difference. I thought it was watching Aggie anyway. But with that said, uh yeah. So I'm gonna do this for you, Mr. Robert, if you're interested. If anybody else is interested, I'll, I'm gonna queue up a uh a, a clip from a tournament here that happened that just shows like the types of things that are possible in the good old dude. What the hell? Let me see, let me see, let me see. And I'm not gonna find this. It was a clip by Insania. By the way, we are waiting for Grand Finals, guys. So don't go anywhere. Grands is gonna start soonish. Just waiting for them to do the this match shot GG shenanigans. Where is Mac? Neither Mac nor Trail have checked in, so. Where is that clip? Let's go Chicago. Oh, the Chicago homies are coming in clutch to cheer for their homies here. Trail versus the lovely Mac. It's going to be grand finals. Man. Where is that clip? Yo, can you wait on grands for 15 minutes? I got to finish my other set real quick. Oh no, here comes the other tournaments slowing us down. God damn it. Oh no, dude. No, 15 minutes, man. Uh, and then everybody's gonna leave the stream while we wait. I'll put some. I'll do the, the stuff that I was going to show you about Dota anyway, if anybody wants to to watch that. Oh, man. Two months ago, no. It's just a Twitch clip. Why can't I find it? Go on, on Twitch. The you both and declare yourself the winner. That is a good strat, dude. 500. That is a... Let me actually show this. That is actually a, a 200 IQ strat right there. I'll give myself the 900 points and go to the to the season finals. That's why that, what I need. Okay, where is... <laughs> now I'm getting flattened out. Top clips from, oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, so where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna have to broadcast it. Make it full screen. I'm gonna 
explain it all to you guys. This is going to show why why Dota is melee. Uh, browser, no. Where? Window capture. Yeah, whatever. No, I don't want that. I want this. Okay, so the question is, can you guys see my mouse when I... Uh, can you guys see my mouse when I'm here? Damn, I don't think you guys can. Oh, no, you can. You guys can see my mouse, right? So, here's what's going on here. Oh, also, is the audio too loud? Oh, no, because I'm in game. Let me put the audio. Area? So I'll just and let the clip Seb, go, and then I'll yeah, go. Yeah, like the build. Just phase, soul ring, hood, very tanky. Uh, it's just like a healing. Down lanes if desired. It's just like a, a way to heal. Just oh, let oh, the oh, clip roll, and then I'll explain what's going on here. Three man so you see, and now the why it's insane here. what's going on. What an insane what? combo from Insania and The game has like a mechanic where you can tip a couple of like duo. virtual points. To someone when they do something sick. Thompson, you find kills. So the clip Seg. actually is just after yeah, like the, the, the camera moves, Soul just because the guy that clipped very did a bad job and he can just this first part for nothing. Fuck down. So here's what's going down here. Uh, so these this team here is OG, right? They have this heroes here, and you need to you need to just let's just Plains go a little bit. So this hero here on top, the Taiga is playing, is called Enchantress. Enchantress, she has an ability called Enchant. And she can enchant one of the neutral, uh, one of the neutral minions or creeps, right? And that is something that that is already one level of complexity that League doesn't have. Is this thing that you can micro, like you can control multiple units. This is more the StarCrafty boomer levels of back in the day, where the players would like people would play more of these um, RTS games where you would control armies and stuff to try and. Uh, win the games whatever so and you can see that he's so focused on, fo on controlling the centaur here right that he just left his character standing there while controlling and then you have another hero all the way in the, the bottom here it's called snapfire snapfire is an old granny on top of a lizard thing that is made to look like toothless from how to train your dragon and she has an ability that is the cookie hop so you can see the cookie flying here she throws a cookie I'm explaining some Dota while we wait for Treo to play. He asks he, you and uh, in the chat, he needs to play another another tournament. Are you fine to wait, Mac? Because if you aren't, then I might have to DQ. Might have to DQ Treo. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm down to wait. Okay, so you should just stay here for the for the class and, and why Dota is melee. So anyway, she throws a little bit of a, a cookie that travels, and when it reaches whichever she throws, that uh, unit just moves a little bit and stuns whenever they land. They, they, they do a little jump forward, and it stuns the area. So you can see here that she's going to cookie hop the actual centaur that is being controlled by their friend. So they communicate as, yo, going to cookie hop your centaur. And you can see that the center does a minor adjustment adjustment on position because uh, Thompson and Seb are not really realizing that the center is coming to them and getting that thing done. So you can see here, I'm actually gonna, gonna slow it down to uh, 50%. So you can see how the center just adjusts at the very last moment and bam, triple stun. <laughs> just, just doing that is already insane, right? Because again, it's not the same hero control, not the same player. They had to communicate. That there's literal, literal, uh, literal like teamwork right there. And okay, but then here's the thing. There's this hero here. It's called Tide Hunter, the one on top here. So Tide Hunter, his ultimate is called Ravage. It's just a big AOE stun. Like a bunch of tentacles come from the ground, and it starts from him, and it keeps spreading on like a on a, on a radius, right? So it stuns faster if it's close and then it, it keeps spreading far away. So it's a big stun that turns a, a team fight around. It's just because uh, he wants to use it, but he's also stunned. So he can he can use it and then he's going to stay stunned there while everybody else comes and starts to wombo combo. Oh, and of course, after the cookie hop, uh, this guy here with, with um, Snapfire, her ultimate, she throws a bunch of blobs in the ground <laughs> that damage everyone. 
And this is another part that is just completely mind blowing of, of the levels that is like the amount of 200 IQ ness that is going on right now. Because here's the thing Tide Hunter, one of his passives is very good for this hero. Because again, remember, he has the ultimate that stuns an area and turns literally turns the tide on the team fight. And his passive is that if even if his stuns load or whatever, he clears all his debuffs after he takes a specific amount of damage, like X amount of damage. Uh, he clears all his uh, debuffs for a little while. And because he's stunned, you can see that the first blob, he sends it right on top of everybody. And you can see how it turned white, his life bar here a little bit. But the second blob, he's like, oh shit, I don't want the stun to break on Tidehunter. So I'm gonna send the next blob a little bit down oh, to cookie. only hurt this, uh, these two heroes on the bottom here, which is... Like, uh, how do you have the presence of mind at the moment to be able to do this? It, it's it's mind blowing, and you also notice that uh, that they 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 just got restunned. By the way, I for, I, I should probably go back on once. So they got stunned first by the cookie hop, and the centaur, which Taiga here, the enchantress is controlling, also has an active stun that is AOE that he uses right now. Bam, and it resets the stun, so they're stunned for a little longer. And that also damages the uh, the Tide Hunter. So that's why the next blob, as you can see here, only hits these two heroes on the bottom. That's what uh, they was doing. But that would still be kind of like enough time for Tide Hunter to uh, potentially throw his ult, right? Now notice Sumail here, which is also a TI winner, which is like the hardest tournament, right? He's playing Morphling. Morphling is a hero that his ultimate he can shape uh, ship, he can transform into other heroes and use their normal abilities besides their ultimates. And <laughs> the guy here to the right, level nine, the the tiny here on the opposing team is a hero that can throw a stun in an area that is a bunch of like little stuns uh, in sequence, right? So Sumail to keep the chain the, the 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 crowd control chain going on is going to transform into the opponent's tiny to throw another stun to stop the tide hunter from even being able to 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 do his ult. So you can see here they are about the stun is about to end and Sumail just transformed into tiny and then he's going to throw the stun. You can already see because the the cat the the observer in the in the tournament he he was actually he had Sumail selected. You can see the image here below and you can see his abilities. And he transformed into into tiny, and he's gonna throw the second ability here, which is the stun. And just look how the the stun bar on top of all these heroes is gonna continue, like bam, bam, like a bunch. Now notice how quick the tide hunter already got out of the stun. It's just because it's short, but also because his passive proc. And then he's gonna try to cast his ultimate. But it's gonna keep getting canceled because the multiple instances of stun that is how uh, tiny works. So just notice, ban stun, 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 stun. And, and by Ember that point, Spirit he White. actually finishes the cast. But then he already had taken so much damage that he there's are. nothing he could. And you can see how far the the ultimate of uh, Tide Hunter goes. So at the end of the day, that is a super long cooldown that they actually got. He should not have ulted. He's just just forget about it. We're all dead. But it's so fast, all that shit happens so fast, and there's so many instances of things going on, it's mind-blowing. It, it's literally mind-blowing. Like, go at like, full step. speed again. Look at how fast yeah, like it the is. Just Throw the face, cookie hop, the center stun, into tanky, everything, then Sumail so transforms into desired. Tiny and throws this up on, on top. <laughs> so everybody <laughs> just dies. <laughs> the very end. Bam, 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 bam. And now the Ember Spirit's oh here. And he gets what the ult, but then there's no follow-up site. He actually gets a five-man ult. He ults every, the entire team, which you'd be good for a... for a... for a Tidehunter, but... Yeah, blink, blink dagger is a top tier item for sure because it it, it allows that that's an item that tide hunter always builds because you blink in and then yeah, ravage like the you blink in and then uh, ults like you very tanky, you, you do the initiation when you when you have such a dagger. <laughs> but the difference is and what makes it more fair because it's it's a much longer distance than something like flash does in lee but the idea is that when you get hit it incurs a three or four second cooldown on blink dagger so there's no shenanigans of like you're hitting the opponent there and they just have flash and they they escape your last ability to kill. If you got hit, 
like you have to stay a little while without getting hit to be able to use blink and oh, man, this, this play here is like into a on, on such a, an insane and now the level oh my here. God. that what is mind-blowing uh let's see if mr trail is ready he did check in but i don't know when was that he said 15 minutes when did he say 15 minutes he said 15 minutes 13 minutes ago no yeah okay so he's he is close i could show one of the the ti plays but we'll leave that for another time you have to be out of combat pretty much and have to not have taken any hits in the last four seconds so yeah as you can see like look at the time it takes for me to just explain all of the mechanics that are going on in like a, a team fight that lasts not even 10 seconds it's just nuts and i know i know league probably has a bunch of stuff like that like when you analyze all the heroes it's, it's just normal how all of that is going to affect in a game that has hundreds of items and hundreds of heroes but the levels of complexity that dota has because it has these more active items it has these more different interactions with this with the the map with the other units this thing of like getting control of other units and shit. it's it's really interesting i'm about to do a bot game with my boy sniper <laughs> dude sniper is just like farming it, it's really fun though because it, it has the the passives that just slow down the opponent it can be very interesting just understand that you're you're gonna be kind of like cancering the opponent out they're gonna be mad absolutely molding yo i'm ready all right we are also ready we've been ready for 15 minutes mr trail so let's get it going grand finals going on right now guys chad week on discovery channel <laughs> what the hell are you talking about trail <laughs> okay guys grand finals is finally upon us trail had us waiting 15 minutes here for his important presence he wants to score potentially more points into the system and if everything is done correctly we should be on max stream so i don't know why it wouldn't work so it's going to be grand finals i don't know which one of them is on each side so we're gonna to have to wait for that but yeah guys finally we are ready to rock mac versus trail they didn't lose until they faced each other in winners finals and now trail is only at that one single loss and he wants to have another crack and mac here it was a 3-1 so not a complete wash let's see if trail can reverse the situation all right we are going in so oh no the broadcast is jank look at how it's loading badly Okay, it fixed. It looks like it fixed. So this is Mac. Guys, there you go. Mac versus Trail. And Trail is coming from loser's side. So here we have it, finally. Grand Finals worth 900 points. So it's an extra 450 to the winner compared to placing second. Trail kind of like doesn't need these points. Well, Mac 100% does. But even a, sec a second place here for Mac is still kind of good enough if he places decently next week as well. But it would be better for him to just get the W here. We need a, a, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. To surpass j -Salt. j -Salt is yet to drop a set in our events. He's been completely dominating. Wow, double knee, one for each. Mac just giving it out. I don't know why my graphics card is being so bad, dude. I'm gonna have to fix it this week. And there are junglers. Uh, there are certain heroes that can do well, but it's not a dedicated position. In Dota, there's no, there's no like, oh, I am top, I am bottom, I am jungle, I am mid. It, it's not. There certainly is like a an idea of the laning phase where you go to those places, of course. But what is usually used to go on that is more like a a farm priority is what defines each role in dota so 
you will have, and since the lanes have uh, have farm in them, right, have uh, resources, you will have the like number one position, number two, three, or four, and five. So number one is the the actual ultra hard carries, like the guy that you need to enable them to farm as much as possible so they can carry the game the late game. Uh, number two is usually is normally the mid unless very controversial things are going on it's usually the mid which is gonna have like mid is the, is the lane that accelerates the fastest but he's not necessarily gonna have a support there to help him and protect him as much as possible he needs to be a very self-reliant hero and then position three is the, the hero that goes on the hard lane because here's the thing the lanes in dota they are not exact mirrors as in league Stack jungle creep, pogs for sure. Oh yeah, there's also stacking, there's like runes. Oh my god, there's so many mechanics in Dota that it's so absurd. And then you add that to the fact that like any team game, people always say like, oh, League's community is toxic, Dota's toxic, CS is toxic. Every single team game, the community will be toxic. The moment you make like a team game that is competitive, you will never be able to to have a community that is 100% wholesome and perfect. It's it's even like pointless to make a notice on that. All right, and we need to make a notice that Mac got a JV3 here on Battlefield. Hold moly. So yeah, the junglers would be kind of like a position four, which is like a roaming support. It's a support that does get a little bit more gold. Than the position five. Position five is like the hard support. It's the guy that's buying everything to make sure the the hard carry is as enabled as possible, as protected as possible. While the position four still has a little bit of freedom to go around. And because you have these mechanics like uh, like creep stacking, like the jungle, you can stack and you can also you can also block camps, right? So when you have a ward or any unit on the area of each jungle camp in Dota, on the moment those those camps are supposed to respawn, if there is any unit there, they don't spawn. So if you go into the enemy jungle and put something there, they will not get the spawn of that minute. So you deny them resources, which again is also ultra cool. And honestly, in Dota, playing support is, is the hardest role. It's literally the hardest role. Because it's, it's one of the, the roles that can, can make or break in such a, an insane level. But it's very hard to notice. It's not flesh. It's not like a... People don't really notice this. Unless you, you understand the game very deeply, most people are not going to notice them. I thought that was a sweet spot. I'm not gonna notice the things that the characters are doing but it can be so broken like if you're playing a game versus a, a support that knows what they're doing it's like uh such a nightmare you're just slowly gonna lose because their team is not gonna be able to get as many resources from the map as the opponents it just adds to the frustration but anyway grand finals again guys remember mac already took game one He's doing a great job here. But Trail is fighting, gets the down smash. Tries to snipe with the icicles, don't get it. And the knee connects on Nana. So Trail only with Popo here. Oh, another grab. And when Mac told me to get him uh to get him first seed. I don't know, a little bit cautious, wasn't too familiar with the player, but it looks like my seating was correct. Although, don't count Trail out, dude. Still working with this Popo here. Trying to get as much damage as possible. Still living that. There right, goes for the air dodge, okay. And misses the ledge dash. Feels bad, man. All right, last stock situation. Can Mac win this? A lot of damage in, though. And another grab. The D sinks and shenanigans. Can't escape. Up smash. Oh, he had the read for the back air, but didn't 
didn't quite get it. Goes for the double raptor boost. You are a very courageous, very brave soul, Mr. Mac. To think a double raptor boost would work. But I like to see that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see more of that. I'm watching on my CRT here, guys, because the OBS preview is being a little bit laggy for some reason. Go to Dreamland. Nice recovery there. Avoiding the, the hammers. The triple knee on Popo. One for Nana and another one for Popo. And another one for Nana. Oh, he was... <laughs> Mac was just going nuts, dude. Just, I would have a knee for all of you. It's the most stale knee the world has ever seen. I don't, I don't think this was necessarily good, honestly. Just, just use another move. The courier is so weird. No, the courier is great, dude. They just bring your items to your lane. You don't need to go... You don't need to recall. Recall is 8 seconds. How do they think that's cool? It's like, uh... I'm going to to sleep. 8 seconds recall. You can't buy your items unless you're in base. It's just one knee to each of the, the ice climbers. You hear? See it? Two each. He's just distributing, you know, it's a welfare of knees here from Mac. It's non stopping knee action. Oh no, trailed. Don't go down like that. Oh, here it is. Here comes the pain. Again, it's not getting those ledge hits with the massive mullets. Oh, escapes? No, he doesn't. And the big F smash. to take this stock. Finally does it with the back hair. That took a while. Makes it back. Trail needs this game. He definitely needs it. Trying to be a little bit more patient here. Oh, Banana's already out. No, he goes for the Neil Popo. Doesn't even care about Nana, dude. Oh, he even gave a stomp to the poor Nana. Mac, one game away from finishing the job here after having to wait 15 minutes to show his skills here. But definitely uh, doing a great job here for sure. Let's see if Trio can bounce back and bring this to a game five. We shall see that in a quick second here. Let's go. All right, game four. Trail counter picks to Yoshis. Let's see. Dude, I think Mac has a has a chance to defeat J Salt. Does he have a record versus J Salt, Ouija? Man. 
Nothing against Jay Sod, I just want you to see a little bit more variety on the big W's, you know. Because so far we have never seen we have never seen any player win first place twice in a row. Because season one, in neither in different Smash games, because season one melee was uh, Neologism one. Season two was Rene, with Neologism close second, by the way. Season three was. Okay, who won season three? It was Komodo. Season four was J Salt. And now J Salt is back in action as well for season five. And again, nothing. I, I will, I will give him the prize at all. It's just, it would be nice to see more content, contendants. Oh, Trail, what are you doing? He's just breaking apart. The pressure from Ouija is just too on point here. The Falcon, the bubble gun power, just too strong. Oh, the shoot pokes. It's a barrage, barrage of up airs from both players, actually. Back there connects after the Raptor boost. Just finds the F smash to the other side. The flat crocodile is right there to help. You guys like my custom, uh, custom Yoshis. So the Brazilian flag right there. And the let's freaking go balls. The LFG balls. This might be it. This might be the last stock of the week. The last stock of the night. And may close it out. But Trail's still fighting. Gets the stock. And he has Nana. Yo, Jack Buff guy. Let's go, dude. Are you at work right now? Let's go. I mean, this was the surprise I was talking about. Check out the CRT. Oh, dude. Wow, what a way to end the set. Ryan right Jack Buff guy becomes a scout for the fifth month in a row. That was for you, dude. Holy moly. What a way to end the set, guys. Man. Mac. <laughs> Trail recognizing it on the chat. It's just <laughs> God damn it. And now he said, see you in a bit. Oh, it looks like they're going to play another grand finals in another stream. Man, what a way to end the week here, Mac. I'm not even going to ask for a winner's interview because he has more games to play. Guys, remember, yo, Lil Marco, let's go. Bam, Lil Marco is my homie here. We, we exchange subscriptions here. We are, you know, utilizing our, our Jeff Bezos system of, you know, scratching each other's back, right? So we are here, we are out here with the emotes. Let's go. Oh, the Daisy Rage. Fits well with the, the LFG, dude. <laughs> it's a business deal, dude. Like, dude, where is your, your Starlink? We need the Starlink to, to test it out. The worldwide net play is happening. Are you streaming right now? Are you gonna stream? I'll, I'll host you since we're about to get off. Well, Mac, congratulations on the big W. Big, big W. Okay, Mac, remember, you have to play next week. Okay? Mac, don't forget that you have to play next week. Otherwise, you cannot go to the finals. Otherwise, you cannot compete for this. If you want the chance to get one of these, then that's it. With that said, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Uh, Robert, for the win, thank you so much for being around, my friend, and hanging out. Lil Marco with the sub. And Jack Buff Guy with the sub as well. Appreciate all of you guys coming along. Remember, uh, the action will continue next week. It is the last week off, this, uh, off the, the circuit. And then we have the Arcadian as the very last chance for qualification. So if you have any questions, check out the Discord. DM me. Check out everything. Because things are going to go wild, okay? Things are going to go wild this season. I am foreseeing the... The season finals being extremely high and extremely quality melee right here on twitch.tv slash scoutfloor. So check out our links below. We will 
head out for now. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you guys next Monday, 7 p.m. as well. I'm just going to give a, a host to the dude here. Good old, good old Pino is hosting the, the Zero Two tournament here. So, yeah. Is there a pot bonus for the finals? As I said, Mac, money. You can make money anywhere. You cannot make this anywhere besides winning this tournament. I want to have pot bonus, to be honest. I would like to. I had before, but the amounts were not significant enough, unfortunately. And like I can only try to get something like a sponsor if I have more numbers. So I will be, I will be, what's the name? I will be making a, a, a call of action towards the community here in the near future and, and seeing what we can do to improve the everything we're, we're working towards because doing everything the way I'm doing by myself is not going to be enough. I'm going to have to, to if, I, if I don't get a little bit of the, the, the spirit bomb power going on, you know, joining everybody together. For it and it's not necessarily like for me you know like i i would just i need more numbers to be able to get something like a sponsorship it it is what it is and i i am down to work as as much as i can but ggs for sure thanks for running the next week for sure well we will wait for you we also have to let aggie know about that anyways guys stay safe out there things are are getting starting to get better for the summer so keep holding on strong and i will see you all this Monday, 7 p.m. for the last week of the circuit. And yeah, things are heating up. I'll catch you all by the flip side. Have a good day.